Ba ba da da bum. Hello! Hi! Hello in Revenant. Hello K. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Hi, Pazer. How you doing? I wanted to let you know, Pazer, I haven't listened to your uh your 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 music recommendations yet, but it's on my to-do list. I was very focused on this uh on getting this video finished this past week. Uh, I did very few other things to my detriment. But um, I don't even know if people have questions about how dare you call us people. Sorry to assume. Sorry to assume your species. I get people isn't even species specific. Apologies, sentient being in rev. It was a great video. Thank you. I'm glad. Uh, is it cold today? It's it's overcast. Yeah. Um, oh, you mean because of my jacket? It's just cold in my apartment in general, which I kind of like. <laughs> um, no, I know you're kidding. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if people have questions about the video, but it's all I've been thinking about for a long time, so I want to talk about it regardless. So I'm gonna. Um, the, I do not have COVID yet, probably. I tested a couple days ago. Uh, for those who don't know, my roommate has tested positive for COVID, but uh, he's he's isolating. We're doing all the right stuff, um, and and everybody's vaccinated here. No, we're we're not in danger. Just finished just finished watching the Shion video. Nice. First question: Are you going to be okay? We'll be fine. Um, yeah, we will be fine. Please do talk more about it. That would be cool. I'm gonna talk more about it. So, the... It took me three months to make this video. It's the longest I've gone without an upload. Which feels bad, man. And I'm hoping to uh, avoid long pauses like this in the future. Um, some of it was my fault. Some of it was um, life events getting in the way. And some of it was... This video was really hard to make. Um, and it, it took a lot longer than I expected. I haven't been keeping track of how much time I spend on videos anymore because uh, I don't have summer break. I, I'm not in school. Um, I... What was I saying? What was I saying? Partly because of your move, yes. Absolutely partly because of the move. Mostly because of the move. Uh, but I'm fully situated in my new place now. I, I can't say fully situated. Everything's in boxes strewn around on my floor. It's actually pretty awful, but uh, I am all like set in. I, I live here now. <laughs> um, but it, it was a it was a difficult video to make because I, I've in the past I have uh, logged the hours that I spend making videos, but I didn't feel that that was actually really helping anything, so I stopped because it was actually kind of getting in the way because I had to clock in and out on an Excel sheet, and that felt silly since I'm the only employee at this company. Uh, question five, don't unis have summer break? I'm not in school, period. <laughs> making good videos is harder than people want it to be. That's true. I... I certainly need to come up with some kind of better strategy because right now I'm spending too much time personally per video um, to make it like sustainable long term. Uh, but I still haven't figured out how to incorporate an editor into my process and I can't afford one right now anyway. Um, uni is the same as school. <laughs> yes. Uni is a school. Um, God, I'm totally blanking. It, it was a hard video to make because, first of all, um, I didn't know anything about it going into it. Uh, we did Shion, I, the, no longer in Rev. <laughs> Ask your boss for a raise or, and better working environment. I'm my boss, it's me. <laughs> um, I am working on the better work environment though. I need to clean this room the frick up. Uh, and once the actors stop striking, I'll be able to do background work again, and that certainly will help. Um, regardless... Wow, I do keep getting derailed, don't I? So I didn't know anything about Shion's theme going in. I, I don't think I had ever heard it before it, um, 
it, it I mean, it got uh, requested quite a few times in YouTube comments, which is how it ended up on the Patreon poll, and then won. Um, remember to like the video. Hello, Pad. Thank you. Um, so I, it, I had to, I had to start from square one. Uh, no pun intended, because there are squares in the video. Um, I, I wanted to revamp, revisit, and revamp the the block based composition idea from the Thirteenth Struggle, because. Um, I I had gotten a comment or two saying that people wished that um, there were a, a better visual way to figure out which block belongs to which motif, and I thought that was a good idea. So I added those little shaded markings that suggest the general flow of each moving line um, to the squares. Hello, Kudjet85! It's not being distracted, it's going on a conversational side quest. That's right! I like that. Yeah, the BB's... The, uh, the block-based composition. Um, which is a term that I just made up. Uh, but it's, it's something that helped a lot of people understand the 13th struggle, and so I knew that I wanted to bring it back um, in this video not even because it's Kingdom Hearts, but because it applies. Uh, in, in most of the near music that we've looked at and, and the other music we've looked at, there just isn't an opportunity to use it because motifs are not um, repeated in the same ways and reused in the same ways that they are in Kingdom Hearts. Um, but I, I really liked what the motif badges became the with the little like constellations um and i i'm going to be using that the, the next video is going to be on um a lot of the music from chapter one of honkai star rail uh most notably wildfire and i'm certainly going to be using the motif badges again in that video um and i'm, I'm really looking forward to that um it, that that's something that's just sort of like evolved slowly over the course of the video's development. Um, it it was just sort of like a, a natural evolution out of the basic ideas for block based composition, and um, I didn't know they were gonna end up where they did. But I really I think it's a really effective tool, and I'm excited to see what else I can do with it. On railing again, I like the block based stuff. You did, uh, perfect YouTube visualization material. Yeah, it fits the YouTube, uh, the the YouTube, the, the uh, format very well. Uh, great tool, especially for this. I'm glad you, I'm glad you guys like it. I'm I'm pretty psyched about it. Were you afraid of trademark infringements with the British Broadcasting Corporation? No, it was more about the. Um, the let's see. I, I'm not gonna say it out loud, but maybe Urban Dictionary will help me out. Um, No, that's not, um... Wow, th this is not showing what I need it to. There is a definite... Apparently there's a lot of things that BBC stands for, but, um... Anyway. <laughs> Definitely high school humor. Question nine. It's not a question. Um, it, 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 it was a penis joke. Anyway, um, what else can I say about it? I, I was kind of worried because I know that a lot of people like Vector to the Heavens much more than Shion's theme. I was worried since, um, uh, Vector only takes up the, the last, like, I don't know, fifth of the video. And I was worried that that might not be enough, but I kept telling myself it's okay because um, Vector, like the stuff that we talk about in Musique pour la Tristesse de Sion is still uh, applicable to Vector, almost 100% of it. So I, I was hoping that would end up being okay. Hi Clint! British baking competition, only on blue Twitch 
What is Blue Twitch? I've never even heard of that. Is that... I don't know what that is. Uh, is that British Twitch? That wouldn't make sense. Anyway. I think that's actually, um, really all I, I had to, to talk about for the, the she owned video, but I, <laughs> my roommate was laughing at me because yesterday, I mean, first of all, I thought I was going to be done like three days ago. Um, and then yesterday I woke up thinking I only had like five to eight hours of work left. I had 14 hours of work left on the she owned video. Uh, and I, I told my roommate, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like play a board game tonight. It's gonna, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have really earned it. And then I like actually post past midnight and I'm like, well, there's always tomorrow. Vector to the Heavens only works, so, uh, so weep <laughs> because of the foundation th she owns theme set. Yes, ex absolutely, absolutely. Blue Twitch is a place where only the biggest fi Oh! <laughs> Got it. To be fair, you did tie in a lot more than it already was with Shion's other theme during your explanation, so it should be perfectly fine. That's my thought process. Hello, xdanman79x. <laughs> Thank you for the Shion video. I love it when I get to hear about my favorite game and its music. I'm really happy that I got to share it with you, too. Um, it it is definitely it's mutually beneficial because i i love making these videos and so it makes me really happy that there are people online to enjoy them because otherwise i wouldn't have had the motivation to make more than i don't know two three and now we've made ten. Ten, baby speaking of near whenever you get to temple of drifting sands which i will you talk about it in tandem with prestigious mask and gods bound by rules yes i will Love how those three just exemplify the Kingdom of Facade. I'm not 100% sure if I will talk about the prestigious mask in tandem with the other two, but I mean, Temple of Drifting Sands and Gods Bound by Rules just are the same track, so uh, absolutely those will share a video. Sad the 1.22 version of Gods Bound by Rules removed its reference to prestigious mask. Oh, well, that's why I <laughs> didn't know that there was one. So I will have to look into the Gestalt versions for that. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I think that's... I, I don't know. I, I don't know why I thought this discussion would take a lot longer than it did, but we're going to switch to Code Vein now. Also known as Boob Souls. Nobody calls it that, but I wanted to call it that. So I got to boot it up. Give me a second. Just love the way you deliver your jokes in your videos. You sort of wait just a single heartbeat as if you're discovering the joke to yourself and then moving on! That's the goal. Timing is one of the, the main ingredients in, in comedy. And uh, it's, a, it's a mysterious mistress. Code vein. Boob it up, you got it. Alonzi. Kurt Van. Kurt Van. I've never heard it as Boob Souls and you were the one who showed me this game. You were holding out. Oh, my bad. I don't know if I've ever called it that before, to be fair. The boobies were really fan servicey when I first played. Yeah, um, I I'm going to be real. I <laughs> Some of it actually bothers me. Um, I think s I've got the sound too loud. There we go. What's the idea for this run? So I was actually thinking I would just continue a run that I've already started, um, unless people would particularly like to start from square one. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What, what do you guys want to do? Because in general, I just like the game. I, I don't really have ideas for runs, I just go. Do you think you'll ever make a video about any of the Code Vein tracks? It's possible. Uh, but I haven't gotten any requests for it, and there isn't a ton that I love about this soundtrack. Don't get me wrong, there are some great moments. You're not still playing as the Danganronpa character? I don't actually know what- Oh, that's right! My my first Code Vein character looked a lot like uh, Aoyasa Hina from Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Um, 
But no, that was just for my first playthrough. Actually, I, I realized that the character I've been playing as um, accidentally ended up being very heavily inspired by a female trailblazer from Honkai Star Rail. Uh, yeah, I did make that Hina one. That It wasn't intentional. I didn't mean to make her look like Hina, but I did. I did do that. I really liked that character. I love the char the character customizer. Uh, but yeah, I Eo's um, character design in particular, which you'll see in a second if you don't know it, because she's the companion I have right now. Excuse you. I don't know if you heard that there was a car outside. Um, it's it's pretty boobalicious in in a pretty scandalous and offensive degree. <laughs> It's real bad. I don't want to be that guy, but have you heard the music from the Ace Combat series? No, I haven't. And you're not being that guy. That's totally fine. There's a final mission song from Ace Combat 4 that's really good. I will make sure to check that out. Uh, if I were going to request a song that's in Code Vein, I would request Underworld, but that's not one you could make a video on. <laughs> why is that? Just because it's kind of... I don't know. Oh, why am I here? I thought I was well. Here's my character. Like you, if if you know female trailblazer, you you, you can sort of see the similarities. Um, oh, it's very copyright. Got it. You will see respectfully. There's nothing respectful about Eo's character design. Truly, there isn't. Um, I have played this game before, but I don't actually remember this particular area. I just started in it when I last. Uh, put this game down, which was, I don't know, like two months ago. Uh, so I don't really remember what we're headed into. Oh yeah, spoilers, obviously. Fan service is great, but it's eh when it's obviously out of place and detracts from the game. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. One of the things I like about Code Vein is the boobs, but with EO, it's just tasteless. It, it's just, it's so much. They're like, they're unnecessarily gargantuan and she, like her whole outfit is just torn to shreds and it's just, I mean, look at this. Look, look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's stupid. That's stupid. Oh my God, it's stupid. <laughs> her 37 twins? Uh, okay, so It looks like I did go this way previously. I think there was just like a treasure chest or something. Nope, there's not Maybe there was I don't remember Gotta remember the controls Gotta remember how to do anything My my modus operandi in this game is to just try to backstab everything, because it's, um, not difficult. Her massive dunga hoturos. <laughs> There's an alternate costume for the DLC for Mia, but I think that's it. Hmm. Kind of really cringe, yeah. That's it, tasteless, the exact word, yeah. It's, uh, it's just, it's way too much. Like this, I I can I can rock with that. That's fine. I could do that all day. But EO is yes. great big gahungalungus. Full frontal twin Totoros. Aw, oh, I can't parry the bullet. Lame. What's even the point of playing an anime game? I try to parry every goddamn thing. Okay, EO. All right. Show's over, baby. But I gotta say, he was really good in combat. I see an enemy above. Do you? I might. Mm, you know what? Eo's distracting. I I typically like to play without a partner. A lot of the time, just because it's easier to like explore at your own pace when they're not just doing all the combat for you. <laughs> How about Europa? Heh heh, I hardly know her. Heh heh, heh hoo he heh. 
No, there is not a Europa character. Your character vaguely reminds me of Lightning. Oh, I see it. Just the the rose hair and the the kind of just like standoffish demeanor. Okay, it actually is getting kind of warm in here. I don't know why. I don't know why that would be. Maybe my ring light, maybe? I don't know. Nice try, sucker. Oh, uh, <laughs> Ganymede. need. No! There's only EO. Or IO, or. I don't know. This character reminds a lot of people of a lot of characters, doesn't it? Sweater and bit. What? Minus two armor class. Oh, sweater has been shed. Minus two armor class. Hi, Vincent. How you doing? No, there's only EO. None of the other Jupiter moons made the cut. Whoop. Whoop. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, well. Mm. First of many. Eo and her Jupiters. Eo and the Jupiters band name. Also, I guess that's kind of a backwards way to think about it, huh? Eo as the central object and then a bunch of Jupiters around her. Meant to do that. I don't actually know why I went this way. I know nothing's here. I just like killing things. I'm not good at it, but I like doing it. I'm gonna lurk. All right, sounds good. Enjoy your lurk. Might not be back before you've do you're done. <laughs> no worries. Thanks for the lurk. See, that's the part that makes me like this game more than a lot of FromSoft stuff is, e even though I do think FromSoft's games are better designed in general, it just, it doesn't have any, like, edgelord anime sequences like that, you know? I am having a good day, thank you! Woohoo! I'm such a parry mechanic slut. I don't care what game it is, if there's a parry mechanic, I'm gonna milk it. What's your favorite KH game? I have not played all of them, but I really like Kingdom Hearts 2, and I've been enjoying Birth by Sleep as well, although I haven't finished it. Um, and I didn't grow up with Birth by Sleep because I didn't have a PSP. Ouch. Wasn't sure if there was gonna be a return strike on that or not. Um, but I, I like the gameplay in those two the best. I think the reaction commands in Kingdom Hearts 2 are extremely fun. Um, and, uh, my sister was telling me that there's something kind of similar in Kingdom Hearts 3, but it honestly sounds like a downgrade. But everything about Kingdom Hearts 3 sounds like a downgrade. I don't plan on playing it. Um, where am I supposed to... Where am I gonna... I like to call those perfect parties, because that's what it's called. <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about? Um, oh, perfect parries? Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, FromSoft does have spe special anime weapons, though. That's very true. I made a big-ass chocolate plum cake. That sounds amazing. I hope you enjoy it. I would eat some if I could. Unpopular opinion, I like Chain of Memories, the OG GBA. Have yet to play re-Chain of Memories. I do not like Chain of Memories. I like the story of Chain of Memories. Chain of Memories might be my favorite Kingdom Hearts story. I think it's well done. I think it's unusually mature. I think the character themes are, um, not the character themes, but the, the character arcs uh, for Nomine in particular are um, just... Uh, there's some really good character writing in Chain of Memories. Really good. And, um... Then as soon as Riku takes center stage, it all goes to hell. But, you know. Until then. Until then, it's a pretty good story. 
but I do not like the gameplay in Chain of Memories. I don't like, just in general, I'm, it, it's really hard to get me to buy into um, card-based combat in real time. I like card combat. I like real time com. I like real time combat. I have no interest in the meeting point between the two. If you think about it in that way, that it's Eo in the center perceiving Jupiter to orbit around her. I mean, like the the uh, geocentrism model. Uh, if you apply the same perspective to the astronauts on the ISS. You could say that Earth is curving away from them as they fly orbit over its surface. True. Have you played DDD yet? I have started it. Um, and no, people, <laughs> people are way too concerned about what other people like. If you enjoy a game, then you enjoy the game. Nobody should take that from you or make you feel bad about it. I, ha I, I don't... I haven't played enough of Dream Drop Distance to have a strong opinion on it. I've been told that the music, the, not the music, the, um, the story will drive me insane if I let it. Uh, but I only think, I, I think I got both Sora and Riku to Notre Dame, but that's about it. I haven't gotten very far. Uh, have you played any of the Persona games? I have started Persona 5. It, 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 more than started, I've gotten to the end of the second palace but I know that that's still just scratching the surface. Um, I know a lot about Persona 4 because it's my sister's favorite game and I've watched the anime, but I have not played that one much. I did start it. Um, what chair do you use? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, my, my roommates already had this when I moved in and uh, they didn't have a use for it anymore, so I just took it. Um, so I'm I'm very grateful to them. I I I could ask. I don't know. Is there like, a, is there a label on this or something? I don't think so. I don't know. I'll ask them. <laughs> Persona Three is the best by far. I've heard really good things about it. Um, last comment is giving me major Persona vibes. The the one about have you played any of the Persona games? Wait, which comment were you talking about? Hi, Moad. I haven't listened to your uh, music recommendations, by the way. I've been focused on the video, but now that that's out, I can uh, focus on other things. Um, uh, I know people dislike it because it's a card game, but it really isn't. It's about as much a card game as Sekiro is a rhythm game. Yeah, I don't like Sekiro either <laughs> because of that aspect. Um, I... I just, I do not have the reaction time necessary to play Sekiro. I am decent with parry and dodge mechanics if the parry button always works and the dodge button always works. But in Sekiro, only one of three different dodge buttons works at a given time, and I just don't have enough of a reaction window to figure out which of those three it's supposed to be. I cannot do it. And similarly, I can't focus on card management in real time. I just, I can't do it. Not when I'm also worried about positioning. Apart from refreshing the decks mid-combat, it felt about as action-y as any other early KH game. But my, my issue with it is that in order to play it properly, you do have to focus on like where you are in your deck and what cards you've used and what cards are coming up. And that's just not fun to me. And yeah, you don't have to focus on that. You can just like make a very attack focused deck and mostly just play it that way. But at that point, you're just button mashing. Ow! Don't do that. Shit. 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 There we go. It's what I wanted. Thanks for just standing there. That's what I like about Code Vein. The enemies are very courteous. Ow. Sometimes. 
One of the things I do really like about Cobain's soundtrack is how the normal combat music works. Um, it, it'll start one way, but then if things get bad for you, like because your health's getting low or there are too many enemies, the drums come in, and then if it gets really bad, the like synth strings come in. It's it's a really cool system. It's well done. It makes you uh makes you feel the stakes in a really visceral way. But not enough to make a video there, because I just said everything I think about it. Uh, where... I gotta... Oh, hold on. I gotta... Stop! I gotta look at chat. I gotta scroll up. Da, 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 da. Hello, fellow sad ice cream people. Gotta be honest, I don't really like the intro for Persona 4 Golden. It spoils certain things for the game. The original intro is really good, the song is catchy, and the animation for it gives a lot. I don't know the difference, so I can't comment. Uh, Dream Drop was such a formative game for me because I only had a DS, so I only played it in 358. Two very confusing introductions to Kingdom Hearts. No kidding, wow! Those are not beginner-friendly games in terms of the lore. My goodness. Um, uh, oh, the animation for it gives a lot of mystery to the game, yeah. Uh, if you're into rhythm games, though, I am. What do you think about Hi-Fi Rush? Need to play it. Uh, are we t talking Chain of Memories? We're talking all Kingdom Hearts. I was the odd duck who actually liked the gameplay. Well, you have good company here because Pazer feels the same way. Um, question 10. <laughs> Will you ever make a meta-commentary video ex to explain why something in the recent mainstream is surprisingly weeb? I, I'm not sure what in particular you're talking about, but no, probably not. Um, I, I have thought about doing videos on non-music stuff. I think I just need to make a second channel, and I think I'm gonna move- oh, that reminds me. I'm gonna move streams to a second channel. Uh, in the mid to near future, um, because most of my viewer base doesn't watch live streams, and I don't want to clog up people's recommendations and notifications with stuff that they don't want to see. So I'm going to be moving streams to a second channel at some point, probably in October. We'll talk more about that as I get close. Um... Where were we? Did you beat all the optional bosses in Kingdom Hearts 2? I don't think so. Um, and I haven't played Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix yet. I guess that's what I did, attack-based deck and button mash to win. <laughs> Ever heard of Saber's Edge from Final Fantasy 13? I want to make a video on that very badly, actually. I really love Saber's Edge, and I just got to hear it live. Um, from the Distant Worlds Orchestra. Oh my god. I love Saber's Edge. That is such a good track. That is such a good track. Started thinking of One Step from Eden when talking about uh, looking at a deck. It's coming. It's an upcoming PvP sequel. Is quite the experience keeping track of things at breakneck speed. Oh god. Uh, Final Fantasy 13 is peak Final Fantasy combat. You could get crucified for that opinion, but I agree. I have a friend who platinumed all of Souls and Souls likes, including Code Vein. <laughs> I also can't finish Dark Souls 1. Code Vein's dynamic soundtrack sort of reminds me of Jack and Daxter's OST. It changed if you were on foot, had a weapon, or rode on the hoverboard. Yeah, uh, not Jack and Dax, not the first one, but the second one, and probably the third one. I don't remember about the third one, but I just replayed the second one recently, actually. What do you think of Sacred Moon? That's a really good one. I think it's really cool that it's in um, Phrygian mode. Hardly anything is written in Phrygian mode. Um, the surprisingly weeb-themed question was supposed to sound oddly specific and over the top. Perfect. It did its job. The secret Jonathan Gaming Channel. It's so secret that I haven't made it yet. Uh, I think I'm going to call it Jonathan Bartouche with the O-U in my last name replaced with a two. Uh, when September ends. Piano pieces. <laughs> Hard. I wouldn't know. I can't play piano yet. I want to learn. Saber's Edge does really hit. Especially the part... Um, how does it go? The, uh, the there There's one part where there's just this, like, really huge release that's just 
Ugh, it's freaking gorgeous. Um, and I, I can't summon it to mind right now, but it's... Y if you know the track, you know what I'm talking about. There's just this one moment. And it's just... It's good. Just want to say, while I don't know too much on music theory, your videos are informative, and I appreciate everything you use as an example to explain things in music. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Uh, because, uh, as uh, a lot of people here know, uh, the main priority of my channel is to uh, like help people get more out of the stuff they already love without needing to have like a degree to do it. So it really matters to me that people who are not music theorists can like still benefit from my videos. That's a really big deal to me. I still have my Kingdom Hearts Kingdom, chain of chain of memories, chain of memories cartridge, and I used to boot it up just to play Riku versus Ansem. It looks like a cool fight in um, the cutscene. I don't know. That's all I know. Can't anymore. Oh no! Well, that's what emulators are for, right? Uh, dynamic soundtracks are the jazz. We'll go with that. I love dynamic soundtracks. What instrument can you play? My voice. I could play trumpet in high school really poorly, really poorly. Um, I was much better at euphonium, but didn't play a ton of that. I got an award for a flugelhorn solo. I don't know how that happened. I'm not good with small mouthpieces. And I haven't touched a, a, a wind instrument in years and years. I think you missed my earlier question. I may have. How are your parries in Code Vein? I, I did miss that. Um, I didn't find the groove when I played. Uh, I love the parries. It depends on what kind of blood veil you're wearing. Um, like the uh, the ogre type will be almost instantaneous. There, It's just like, whoop, there. Um, but then the, the one that takes the longest is the... Um, not this one, actually. The, um, let's see. This is a good example. Um, the one that has the uh, the things that go into the ground and create a bunch of swords. That one's really fun, but it's such a long parry. Like, here, I'm going to press it now. It's like half a second later. Boom. It, it's a long parry. So it depends on what blood veil you're wearing, and that might um, change things for you pretty dramatically. And that might be why you couldn't get the rhythm if you were changing blood veils a lot. Hi. It's time for your... I don't know, enema? Oh, shit! No, I'm not gonna do Twitch streaming. I have no interest in Twitch. I know Twitch has a better project, uh, product, but it's a garbage company, and I don't want to be part of it. Dynamic soundtracks. See, I like the parries. Uh, Jonathan Bartouche sounds like one of my jokes. It does. Ska album soon, you know it. It's just around the corner. It's been in development for negative two seconds. I give you 50 cents, would you play trumpet on stream? I don't even have a trumpet anymore, dude. <laughs> I, uh, I don't remember what happened to my trumpet. I don't remember what happened to my trumpet. But I wasn't even playing my trumpet by the end of high school. I was using somebody else's and I gave that back, obviously. I don't know why. I don't remember. Well, Carmilla, it's certainly been a while. I thought you might have gone off and joined the Lost. Oh, look, it's somebody's heart. Sort of. Bartouche. <laughs> um, I want to buy you Astral Chain and see how you like the parry mechanic in that game. Oh, I don't know anything about it. Uh, that may have been it. Didn't stick with ogre type veils for too long. I, I, I like the, um, it, it definitely takes a lot of getting used to, but I like this type best just for the aesthetic. Uh, but even more than aesthetic, I like good stats for my playstyle. And my playstyle is parry things and hit things. 
I don't use many gifts, as you have probably noticed from the fact that I have not used any gifts. I do like gifts, I just don't like having to manage Icker. That was rude. I like parries. There's some surprisingly good music in the game, Rule of Rose. Haven't heard of that one. That game is like Silent Hill. Ooh, but the story is pretty interesting. Nice. Uh, build one with scrap. <laughs> you, uh, you overestimate my abilities. Do some mouth lip trumpet. No, then you'll see how bad I am at all trumpet. The trumpet went to Kingdom Hearts. Sure, we'll go with that. So you're a strength main? Yeah. I, I do like dexterity as well, but I'm definitely strength and dexterity first. I have not been paying attention to where I'm going, which is not super helpful in a labyrinth game, but fortunately the map is very generous in how much it shows you of where you've gone. Like not here, for example. Sekiro stream? I might do a Sekiro stream. Uh, I, I did one on Twitch back in like 2020, way before any of this started. Um, God, I, I gotta tell you, I am really not good at Sekiro. And that is not going to change if I stream it again, but I'm willing to do it anyway, because it's funny to watch me fail. Uh, Astral Chain is on Switch. I do have, I, I have a capture card, yeah. I was able to do the uh, 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 Metroid Dread stream. I love that stream. I had a good time on that. Got my PB. Rule of Rose has terrible gameplay, but the soundtrack is nice. I will check out the soundtrack. Dang, there's a lot of vestiges around here. Somebody talking to me? Hello? Somebody up there, maybe? Music analyst lacking rhythm in Sekiro, I refuse to believe it. My rhythm's pretty okay. Um, but again, in, in Sekiro, it's not about the timing, it's about the reaction window. It's, it's too small for me to figure out what it is I'm supposed to do. The, the timing isn't the issue, it's which button do I press. Hmm. Where... Okay, now I see. Wow, I really have gone all the way back to the beginning. I should probably do this. Oh, I just realized I'm covering the map. Sorry guys, you don't get to see the map. I already went up here, right? Yeah. Let's just go in circles for the entire stream. Let's do that. Hi Samuel, Sekiro is a rhythm game. Fine, but I don't know how to press the button, the, the, the right. I don't know which buttons to press. I can't figure it out until it's too late. Can a jazz musician or a rapper finish Sekiro easily? It's a good question. Uh, where did Io go by the way? I banished her to the Shadow Realm. I like, I, I typically like exploring um, solo so I can go my own pace. Um, I will often take a partner out for bosses though, because I, I play adventure games backwards from most people. Um, for me, it's all about the exploration. Like this is the part that I play the games for. It's it's the the common enemies and the uh, like treasure finding and going down different paths and seeing the environments. Um, I have less interest in boss fights, which I know is sacrilegious, but that's just, that's always been the draw of games for me, is the stuff between the boss fights. Can't parry, can't parry bullets, I gotta stop trying. Gotta stop trying to parry bullets. This isn't that much of an anime game. It's 
just an anime game in every other regard. Uh, gotta go to a friend's house now, but thank you so much for everything you do, and can't wait for the next video. Thank you! Also, please do a Rule of Rose soundtrack review, thank you. I will certainly give the soundtrack a listen, but I can't make any progresses and promises, and my goodness, I have so many, many tracks I want to talk about already. That Metroid Dread stream even opened up for me a new way... Uh, uh, oh. Even opened up for me to click with the game as well. That was a good stream. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. You got you got uh you got some crade tips. Fail compilation. You're mean. Hey, that's not very nice. Good thing you're dead. Uh Where was I? Every parry wolf does a little dance. Oh no! Wolf does a little dance in time with the battle music. Yeah, that that's right. That's exactly how it works. I, um, maybe should not have handled that the way that I did. Why don't I have any, um... I don't have any way to heal poison in my gifts. That seems like an oversight on my part. You know what else seems like an oversight on my part? The fact that I'm not using any gifts. At all. I have used none this whole time. Gifts are basically spells, by the way. If you didn't know. Yeah. Stop. Go away. Thank you. I hope I'm able to make it to the next checkpoint before I die. Because I have no more healing. Quite rude. I'm I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. Not as big as that guy though. Um I don't wanna go back. I don't wanna go back. I've killed so much, I don't wanna have to kill them all again. Oh, he found me. She found me. I don't know. Gender is an illusion. Good job. That's how bullets work. Why am I not just... Hello? I didn't realize the cast time on that was so excessive. Well, here's hoping I can survive my way back there, because that's a lot of haze to lose otherwise. Where was I? It's not a true Soulsborne if you need a mini-map mini to get around. Kinda. Pretending to spout elitist propaganda. Is just Souls Weave? Yeah. I, I called it, um, what did I call it? Boob Souls? Yeah. Did you play Bloodborne? I started it. I've played most of it. Um, but it was on my friend's machine, and I have a PS4 now. And I just haven't really figured out how to reconcile that. Because now I can play it, but I don't want to start over. It's weird. Sound of the deflect in Sekiro really helped me get into the precise rhythm of it, and the amount of moving around you do when you got the deflect patterns down is surprisingly minimal. Again, it's the the issue is the reaction time. Like no, no other part of the game is going to make my reaction time better. There there's no making up for it if you don't have the reaction time to figure out which button you're supposed to press by the time you're supposed to press it, you cannot beat the game. It's just, it's a hard wall for me. I can't get past it, and I won't be able to with practice. Uh, also, I customized my controller to have similar button map as Bloodborne, which helped me a lot. I bet that did. You remembered where I was stuck as well? Yeah. My exploration and mastery of the game exploded after that. Aw, oh, and then got stuck again. Don't need to heal if everything is dead. That's my philosophy. Man, I wish gender was an illusion. <laughs> gender is a game and I'm winning, Hi, Krona. 
mom oh i thought i said mom ma'am the video was so good thank you for the hard work on it thank you for watching it and thank you for being here the thing with the different part parries in sekiro are mostly optional it's not even the parries so much as it is the dodges for the the ones where like the 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 danger symbol comes up and then you have to tell from the animation whether you're supposed to what is it jump run away or parry I, I don't remember I don't even remember haven't touched that game in three years Oh dear. Uh, you can simply dodge or parry everything and then learn the danger symbols. Um, okay. I believe you, that was not my experience, but I also did not play much of the game. Oh, what, what? I have a present? I have presents! I got a book! Hee <laughs> hee. Excellent. Uh, yeah, the big red symbol is always in the way of reading the movement of the enemy. <laughs> I didn't have that problem in particular. I just, again, don't have the reaction time. Uh, when there is a red symbol, just dodge away and you are mostly good. Okay, I'll try. You can use the book to choke enemies. That makes sense. Sometimes you gotta jump. Yeah, you do gotta jump, though. Ouch. Ouch. You guys are mean. Oop. Oh. You guys are mean. And dead. Oh, fuck. Bite. Meow. Ah, jeez. I don't want to fight two at once. Wow! Did it just collide with the wall behind me? That's not what I want spells to do. How? What? How? Huh? Huh? That's better. Thank you. Shit. Thanks. The AI in this game is really good. It's really smart and good. And it's really... Fuck. Still better than me. Um, I'm trying to read chat while I'm being shot at. That was almost very bad. Uh, where was I? Most times, unless you are physically inside the enemy, even the red attacks are dodgeable by just dodging away. Okay, that's good. I didn't know that. Is somebody coming up behind me? Sort of. Off to the side. You didn't like that, did you? Fuck, 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 fuck. Eh. Guess mus mu muscle memory helped me the most. It will take me plus four seconds to tell you which buttons in my custom map did what, but repetition just drilled the gameplay into my soul. Sometimes I've found against Kenichiro, it's simply, it's easier to simply sidestep diagonally forward next to him instead of dodging. Oh, interesting. Also, don't use your lose your haze. Thanks. I'm trying not to. Depends on a lot. Depends a lot on how you've moved before that, though. Uh, I hated them. Never could learn how to chase cheese them. <laughs> Wilhelm scream. Don't lose your haze. Yeah, the apparitions are hard if you don't have divine confetti or the umbrella. I don't know what you're talking about.
Yeah. Whoa. Huh. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. We're good. We're good. I got this under control now. We're good. We're good. Oh shit. Didn't know there was another one. Ah, I mastered a bunch of stuff. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Oh jeez. Oh my god. I'm fine. Don't lose your haze, my favorite lyric from the- Don't lose your haze! Wait, no, I, I just did Through the Fire and the Flames. What is it? What is the melody? Oh well. Uh, I have a bunch of Sekiro boss videos, if that helps. Probably not. <laughs> People hate the demon of hatred, but I've found a place out that chill beats him without without cheese. Nice. You have the power of God and anime. You cannot lose, maybe. Love the juxtaposition. Hey, making something with a giant, bl gigantic blood claw. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> it's exactly what you sang, but like half a uh, half step lower. Ah, oh, well, so close. Yeah, it, isn't it just a repeat of the the third note? Don't lose your hands. Any other gift you like? Um, I'm a big fan of the uh, the the cat one that I haven't been using because I keep forgetting. Actually, now that I've mastered a bunch of them, I can switch to a, a playstyle that more fits what I tend to enjoy. Uh, I do actually like a lot of these though. I I'm I'm a big fan of artillery mage playstyles, and that's basically the Isis code. Um. That's I need to use that more. That's a that's such a good one. Shadow leap. Eh. Uh oh. I don't even remember what shadow leap does. Oh, not what I need. Um, and I like the one that lets you teleport back to the last missile you visited without losing haze. This one. That one's pretty good. Oh jeez. Christ, it keeps colliding with the wall behind me. That's such bad design. That's not a fun game mechanic. Why didn't that hit? Am I like two pixels out of range maybe? I am out of Icor. Or Icor, or whatever you want to call it. Get over here. I'm not fighting you all at once. Shit. I don't know. Why did how did, how am I colliding with the terrain there? How how am I colliding with the terrain? I'm my I'm holding the stick directly left. People say this game is janky. It is. <laughs> Deliver to them destined death. Hi, Amir. Oh, hi, Widget. Uh, I like Code Vein a lot. Demon of Hatred was easier for me because it was a very Bloodborne boss. Sang that song at karaoke and lost my voice for the week? That sounds about right. Two at once? Uh, they're both melee, and this guy's the only one coming, so sure. How did that not? Okay, fine, fine. You, you haven't, you didn't see anything? No, none of that? Okay. Ah! 
Pachow. Goodbye. Hee <laughs> hee. Um. What you got? Oh! More than I expected. But not enough. Goodbye! Ouch. Shut up. All of you go away. Forever! How? Why? <laughs> I... <laughs> Does that spell just have a fixed range? I'm not allowed to hit the thing I'm locked onto? Seems a little use challenged. Seventy second cast time and then it only hits one space. Oh, I'm out of healing again. Shit. Don't I have like a... Well, too late now. And no, I don't have an anti-venom on quick select. Shit! Fuck! Oh my god, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Goodbye! <laughs> Uh, try that again. Attempt three. What's everyone's favorite version of Xion's theme? That's a good question. I... I really do enjoy Vector, but I also like the, the harp in the original version. Um, one thing I never liked about Code Vein is that Iker Ikor feels especially limited in a game with so many cool spells that encourage you to explore. I agree. I do like that you can increase your pool of Ikor by just like using certain attacks. I think that's a cool mechanic and it encourages you to uh, rest as, as infrequently as possible, which is also a cool mechanic. Um, but yes, I do feel that it's quite limited, especially if you are the kind of person who really likes to use the bayonet weapons, which, I mean, their heavy attacks uh, require i -Core, and that's just mean. That's just unsustainable is what that is. Can't be Vector to the heavens, gotta agree. I think my favorite version of Xion's theme is the Memoria version of Vector to Heavens, if that counts. It totally counts, yeah. I, th I think that collection's really beautiful. Uh, the original is still pretty good, but Vector of the Heavens adds a certain depth for me. Which is funny, because uh, as you may have noticed in the video, it actually has fewer instruments. But they're just being played much more forcefully. Ouch. Hi, Tadlock. Uh, hello, loved the video, and I discovered your channel with your analysis of the 13th struggle. You deserve more views, man. Oh, thank you. I'm glad I was able to give deliver some more Kingdom Hearts stuff. Uh, there's certainly more to come. I don't know exactly when, but there's more to come. Shit, 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 shit. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I have one health. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all you need. Oh my god. 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 Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Holy moly. Holy moly! <sighs> Wait a minute, have I been walking right by a missile this whole time? Have you listened to the Radiant Historia soundtrack, Underrated Yoko stuff? No, I haven't. I love the Shion video, keep up the good work. Thank you, Salty Physicist! It's been a while, how are you? 
do the Sayonu Uta Sin video, I beg you. <laughs> I haven't gotten any other requests for that, but I do want to do it. It just, uh, it may be a while. It's, it's a personal interest of mine, but not a personal priority, if that makes sense. Uh, but yes, I do want to do that video. It's also very niche, it's not gonna get a lot of views, and after not uploading for three months, I do have to worry about that. My friend who platinumed all Souls games loved your Genshin Impact video. Ah, Genshin uh, Coldplay is a very good band. Um, I definitely want to do more Genshin music, uh, but again, I'm just I'm surprised how little uh, interest there was in that video. Because I mean, Genshin's a big game and it's celebrated for its music, so I, I don't know why that video has done so poorly, um, but. Oh, maybe, oh, the missile must be up there. It must be up there. I don't know how to get up there yet. Uh-oh. Not how I planned this to go. Oop. There we go. Goodbye. <laughs> it's niche as fuck. In Elden Ring, they've reduced the FP cost of a lot of spells and skills. Oh, interesting. Even a modest FP pool of 110 or so is pretty good. Code Vein feels like low FP used to be in Dark Souls 3. Oops. Oh. You know, I'm just... I'm just gonna abort. This is a bad run. I will get back to my haze. I think it's funny that, um... <laughs> My very first attempt in this area is the furthest I got by far. I haven't been able to re uh, replicate that at all. I'm getting too casual about it. I'm getting rushed. This is what's happening. I love that enemies just let you do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That didn't go nearly as smoothly as the first one. So what is the objective here? I feel like you're mocking me. The objective right now is to get back to uh, where I died the first time so that I can get my haze, which is like souls and dark souls. And the secondary objective, or rather the primary objective that I'm taking a detour from, is to keep going in that direction once I get there. Yeah! Beat the first boss in Tunic? I haven't played Tunic, but it looks very cool. And the music's great. Bye! I'm not mocking you this time, I just don't know this game. Yeah, it's it's um it's souls like in a lot of ways. So, you know, um relatively difficult enemies and um just everything really wants you dead. And you know, you slowly make your way through a cruel world. Although this game is very linear compared to Souls likes, and especially compared to Elden Ring. Um, but it also has a more, um, I don't want to say fleshed out, because Souls-like games, have, uh, like FromSoft games, have very deep lore, but a more present storyline. Like th this game has a, a normal amount of cutscenes for a game of this aesthetic. I, I'm, oh my god, I've mentioned this before. It breaks my heart. My sister played most of this game and just skipped every single cutscene because she figured that as a Souls-like, the story didn't matter. Which is very confusing to me because Souls-likes don't have really any cutscenes, almost. And this game has dozens! And I'm like, how did this not alert you that maybe you were skipping some good story, which you are? story in here isn't literature, but it, it's better than it has to be. It really is. 
Well, waited too long on that. I remember you mentioning your sister did that. It bothers me to this day! Ouchie! Oh, okay, we, we missed each other. That's all right, two ships in the night. Hi. That sucked. There's a lot of blood in this game. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Souls games aren't hard, you just get used to them. That's what my friend says too. I disagree. <laughs> Even when I'm used to Souls style games, they they are still difficult and I still die a lot. Uh, I just, you know, deserve it more and more as the time goes on. Most bosses in Dark Souls have cutscenes. Well, yeah, but not you know, like, real story cutscenes, just establishment cutscenes. I find it weird that you don't feel Dark Souls has any, had any edge lordy things in it. What are you talking about? I never said that. It's not, it's just not like anime edge lord. It, it's not specifically like bleach edge lord. But it's very edgelord. It just has a lot of Western influence in its art direction. For Elden Ring, they tweaked under the hood stuff so players can get a more satisfying amount of spell and skill to the point that they can be spammed now. It did feel that way in Elden Ring. I, I felt that I was able to cast sorceries very frequently. Isn't notorious or oop? Whoa! Uh, so Souls games are totally not hard. Isn't notorious or Manus Edge anime Edge Lord enough for you? Uh, I don't know who those are. Bleach isn't edgelord, it's just cutting edge fashion with rushed plot. What's the difference? Any other weapon you like using? In this game, um, I definitely prefer the one-handed swords over everything else, uh, but I am not opposed to using other weapons. I, I don't really have a, a hierarchy. It's just one-handed swords are the best and everything else is okay. <laughs> That's my play style anyway. Now let's see. Um, it, it does appear that... It, oh, wait. Oh. Wait, did I... Did I pick up my haze and I didn't even notice because I was talking? I did it, you guys! That's great! Oh, happy day! Uh, Elden Ring Platinum in less than a week? That's not healthy. This is Code Vein. The blade is me. I love when Zaraki said the edge is me, then started edging the entire fight. Artorius is basically big sword and fallen knight type of edgelord. Manus is basically mad with evil magic edgelord. Although his case would have been cooler if he talked at all. Uh, Artorius is like the Hora Luke of Dark Souls 1. I don't know who that is. And Manus is like Lord Rikard. Got it. Artorius is the first boss of DS1's D DLC. Aha! Aha! Oh! That's haunting. So the general lore of this game is that um, 
most humans are dead. <laughs> it's a it's a post-apocalyptic scenario where um it it's not actually clear what started this, but um there there there's basically a way to bring people back from the dead. Uh, but they are never fully human again. They are revenants instead, which are similar to the vampires. Um, they don't eat or drink. I mean, they can, but it doesn't sustain them. They get all of their sustenance through um, human blood. Um, but there aren't many humans left. And the ones that are left are, like, very often, like, made to be like food banks essentially just kept barely alive in order to provide food and it's it's very dark and awful um so you play a revenant and the reason you're always wearing a mask revenants have to wear masks otherwise they go into a blood frenzy um which will eventually turn them into the lost which is what i'm fighting the lost and that's Basically, the long and short of it. No, that's just the short of it. There's also uh, a queen, and it, it's not clear to me if the queen predates the revenants or was a result of the revenants, but the queen is actually an old friend of one of the main characters who uh, lost her mind and actually, like, all of these glowing yellow thorns are the results of her attacks from years ago. And she just completely destroyed what was left of the world in a frenzy that one of the main characters could have stopped, but he wasn't couldn't bring himself to kill her even though she begged him to. It's pretty fucked. It's very anime. Ow. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. This is I'm not going to survive this. There's no way. I need to get out. I know it doesn't look too bad, but uh, right now there's an invasion, which means that as I kill them, more will spawn immediately. Fuck. 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 No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Please leave me alone. The further I run, the less of a big deal it is that I have to restart. I need to spend this haze so I'm not carrying around a king's bounty. I did it. I ran all the way back. But clench! Everyone is an edgelord vampire. Yeah. Most humans are dead and all that's left is anime. Got it. Yes, exactly. It's the musicians. I am just a freak. I want you to come back. I lonely. <laughs> what is happening? Um, the glowing thorns remind me of Plague Tale. I need to play that. You lived! I did! Also, I like the Japanese voice actor of that leader dude you first meet. He's a voice acting veteran and did a lot of great characters, like Gyu from Demon Slayer and Reagan from Mob Psycho 100. That's very cool. Um, I'm trying to remember who you're talking about. Do you mean the guy who, like, heads the labor camp that you first wake up in? You don't mean Jack. 
right? I haven't played this in Japanese. I've only played it in English. Uh, Elena hasn't told you that I've played Demon Souls Remake, Dark Souls 1, P Prepare to Die Edition, and Remaster more than once for both of them, Dark Souls 2. I don't know what that means. Dark Souls 3 and both DLCs more than once. Also, Elden Ring at least 1.5 times yet. I struggle with Sekiro for some... <laughs> That's funny. The blonde guy. The blonde guy. I don't actually, I'm not sure who you're talking about. I'm sure if I were to like replay the opening, then I would recognize it. No, PT is playable teaser for the Silent Hills game that never came out. <laughs> Scholar of the first sin. DE for Denmark. Blonde Psycho 100, obviously. Just curious, but what do you do outside of YouTube? I'm primarily a background actor in terms of getting money. Um, I used to work more as a stand-in, but then I stopped getting work for that for no reason, I guess. Um, and that's been very frustrating. But I do have a sort of acting career that I've been working on for quite some time now in the Los Angeles area. Um, although, in order to pay the bills, it's primarily been background acting. <laughs> My roommate's playing Phasmophobia. Uh, you look Denmarkian? I'm just a... I don't... I'm just a... I'm just, I'm just an American white boy with parents from Europe. Not parents from Europe, but you know, blood from Europe. Coke, mostly? No, I'm not Coke, mostly. Background actor, can we see some of your films? Uh, you can't see me in very much. Actually, I don't know if that's true. Because I don't actually watch the stuff I'm in, usually. Because I've been in, like, over a hundred things. That's not bragging, because it's, like, it's not a thing. It's it's not a big deal at all. Um, you can see me pretty clearly in an episode of Young Sheldon. I don't know which one. Um, but my grandmom noticed me. <laughs> And you can see me in an episode of L.A. to Vegas, which was canceled, but it's very funny. Um, and a bunch of other stuff that I can... Uh, you can you can probably make me out... In, my dad said that he was able to pick me out of... Um, what was the... Uh, what was the recent Lucille Ball biopic with Nicole Kidman? I'm in that. Um, yeah, there's that clip of Million G Dreams and Greatest Showman. Uh, the DiCaprio index finger meme. I can't play Phasmophobia. It has too scary in it. Yeah, Clint, uh, you, you can... Uh, <laughs> It's very weird to call it one of my films, because I have nothing to do with them. Like, I, I cannot tell you, like, nobody has less authority on a set than a background actor. I can't say nobody has less of a paycheck, because that's definitely the production assistance, but nobody has less authority on a set than a background actor. And um, that's how it should be, because most background actors are fucking morons. Do you have a living relative whose name you can't pronounce? No. Why? The Joniverse. Your hit film, The Greatest Showman. Looks good on your resume. I don't put background acting on my resume. You weirdo. That would be like if I went to a doctor's office and said I worked there. Jonathan as film music composer. Uh, true, because I have composed music and I have been in a film, so I am a film music composer. Yep. Wait, I need to spend this stuff. Level up! Actually, do I have any gifts I can acquire? I do! I have a lot! Let's 
Let's get that. And all of them, actually. Which takes a long time to unlock. Wow, it takes a long time to unlock. Wow, this takes a long time to unlock. Now's as good a time as any to switch out some of these gifts for stuff that I prefer. I'm never going to use this, so I'm going to swap this out to that one buff I like. Oh, not that one, apparently. Um, that one's good. Does this one end when you take damage? I can't remember. How do I just look at what this is? I don't want to look at what it's going to change to. Okay. Uh, no, it doesn't end when you're attacked. Okay. Then I gotta keep those. I'm- I'm actually- I'm digging these two. These are fun. This one has a stupid cast time and keeps breaking on shit. This is the same thing, but better. So, let's do that. Or, no, let's have a, an actual melee art. A, a melee gift. Where are my melee gifts? Oh, here. Um... I don't even remember what this does. I like this one a lot. Let me let me see what this is. Nah, too much time. Let's do this one. I like this one a lot. It's great. It's freaking great. Because it's got iframes. Message retracted? What did you do? Professional background actor isn't a thing then. Uh, it is. It's just, you know, you can't make a career out of it. It it, it doesn't pay enough. It, you make, um, you do make a lot of overtime because film days are often like 10 to 12 hours long. But the base rate, like, if you're a union actor, meaning you're paid, like, dramatically more than the non-union actors, you still make base rate $180 USD for eight hours of work. You can't live off of that. Um, but I've been doing it, because you can live off of it short term. Um, I, I like her eyes a lot. They are cute. Uh, the unpronounceable relative thing I asked for, I asked because, you know, Baruch, which I think you've said is because of some Greek influence. It's a Hebrew name, Baruch. Uh, sorry, not blonde. Louis, yeah? The first figure. Oh, oh, the main character. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I know who you're talking about now. Yeah, I like Louis a lot. I, I again, I've only played this game in English, but, um... I think he's very well performed in English. That guy. Uh, Baruch sounds very French to me. It does if you put an E on the end and use an Ellis Island pronunciation. Uh, I don't think I can link it in chat, but if you look up the scene Million Dreams, pause at 609 and you'll see a wild Baruch. It's actually pronounced bar ouch because it's Irish. You're so dumb. My mistake, this VA is Kaido Ishikawa, not the guy I was thinking of. Oh, still, he's a veteran too. Did uh, Lita from Boku no Hero and... Wait, I don't know the... I don't know the character names in Boku no Hero. Uh, and Janos from One Punch Man. Nice! He was very good. Hebrew? I wonder how I mix Greek up in there. Well, I mean, I, all of my... Not all of my... A lot of my Hebrew blood comes from Greece, so that's how. Hi, Elena. What a video you dropped in. Hi, everyone, chat. I am a car. Okay. <laughs> I'm really glad you liked it. I saw that you said uh, it made you tear up. I'm, I apologize that I was not able to, to 
uh, deliver full tears as, as as you were hoping for. But I'm I'm really glad you liked it. Jonathan is my distant cousin. <laughs> yeah, I'm half Hebrew and half just like boring European white. Uh, mostly like British Isles. On my mom's side. Uh, engine in his legs. I don't know much of any. I only know Deku. Hello, my beautiful desert pyromancer. You guys are wild. I love you. Can you speak Hebrew? I can't. I can speak and read a tiny bit of Japanese and even li even less Spanish, but that's all besides English. I, I do want to work on that because I, I, I feel it's a shame that I don't speak any other languages fluently. I, I think it's a, a missed opportunity, especially now that I have like a literally global audience. It just feels disrespectful for me only to speak English. I, I know it's not actually disrespectful, I don't mean that, but it, it does kind of feel that way. I feel like, I don't know. You guys have been so good to me, I want to be good to you. Fuck! That's why your urchin accent is on what, what my please her. Can I have some more? Because as you know, accents are genetic. You inherit uh, accents through blood. That's it, yep. That's exactly it. Vague Hope sounds Hebrew to me. The, uh, the, the track? Um, the da 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 da. Wait, no, that's Voice of No Return. Um, Vague Hope. I can't remember off the top of my head what that one sounds like. He's the uptight student rep with glasses. <laughs> Got it. I, I still don't know the character, but I know the archetype. Uh, I'll leave because I'm the driver's DJ, but have fun. Maybe I'll catch up once I'm home. Love you. <laughs> Take care. Drive safe. Well, not you, but y your your friend. Or family member or whoever. I thought you meant that's how your mom taught you to talk. What, like, like a street urchin? No. It's not even a street urchin accent. That's just like general British. Is not Cockney enough. No, both my parents were born in America, uh, and their parents, like, we've been here a while. The near track lyrics. Oh, the lyrics, got it. I'll have to check them out again. It's very possible that they're inspired by Hebrew. I know that um, Emmy Evans based each track off of a different language other than uh, Song of the Ancients, which was the first one. So she didn't quite know what she was doing yet, by her own words. Elena is like the is like Roger from One Piece. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot to level up. I bought all those gifts, but I forgot to level up. People tell me a lot that my English sounds American. I mean, cool. <laughs> Uh, if I remember, you're in SEA, right? <laughs> Dead. Yeah, Appears for a couple seconds, then vanish again. Vanishes again. Uh, what do you mean opposite in Revenant? Oh, Americans say I sound English, English say I sound Dutch, Dutch say I sound German, and Germans say I sound... They have no idea. When in fact, they're all wrong! Uh, excuse me. I have heard that um, people who are relatively musical are better at um, accents and imitations, which makes sense to me. Um, but I haven't really done any accent training. 
So I'm not comfortable taking roles that require like a British accent or even really a, a Southern accent, just because I, I haven't trained in that and I haven't lived in those areas. So I have no idea if I'm actually doing anything right. Uh, just got a Netherlands type accent from you when I heard you. Close. Uh, everyone thinks I'm in an Indian because of how I look and sound. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm just blessed to not have a strong Norwegian accent. I think it's because I gravitated so much to Cartoon Network when I was young. Oh, yeah, it was wild. Yeah, I, I know that a lot of people um, will will take the accents of the, the media they, they associate with. Filipinos love to sing. Oh yeah, isn't, uh, I'm remembering now that karaoke is big in Filipino culture. I think they sound wholesome and memorable, but I just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I actually, I, I feel the same way. I've always really liked East Indian accents, but like, God forbid I should ever use one in public because that would be completely inappropriate because, you know, people who look like me have been awful for millennia. So, <laughs> we must all pay penance for the mistakes of our ancestors and brethren. Shit. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting, I need to level up. Why is it so hard for me to remember that I need to level up? No! Stop! No, fuck. Bad. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Okay, I think they lost me. Bye! We speak the most English of all the SEA countries. Nice. I didn't know that. I thought it was, um, I thought Indonesia might have the most English. But no, that makes sense. much more socially acceptable to make the voice accent of a Russian nuclear physicist. <laughs> so specific! Not a Russian accent. Not a nuclear physicist accent, whatever that means. A Russian nuclear physicist accent. While I have a neutral American accent since I live in Texas, I have a general understanding of how to do the Southern accent. That makes sense. It's fun to bring out once in a while. My grandparents are Southern, so I, I have a little bit that I can use, but again, like, while it's fun, it's a fun party trick and it's fun to do on stream, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing a, a, like a film role like this without a little more coaching to make sure I wasn't pissing every, anybody off. I mean, you're always pissing somebody off, you know what I'm saying, but. All my exes live in Texas. I don't know that song, but I'm making up the melody. This is where the British stole all our stuff. <laughs> the British really did love doing that, didn't they? They did a whole lot of that. Someone get me a window seat. <laughs> because of this flow. Somebody get me a window seat because this flower is wilting. That took me a second. You're close to the melody, actually? Wow. To me, U.S. Southern accents are like... Screw... What, what was that supposed... Hmm? What? Reminded me of that old Spongebob episode where they insulted Sandy in Texas.
the only valid Texan. Nobody else is actually Texan, only Sandy Cheeks. I don't know why I had iframes for that, but I also couldn't move, so it worked out. Oh, hit enter before you meant to. I think it's because accents are up. Uh, why am I? Uh, fuck. I think it's. Oh, I should look. Uh, I think it's because accents are a result of carrying phonetic structures over from one language to the next. Yeah, for sure. Whereas I'd say stuff like British English and the American vernacular are dialects. That's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. You are correct. That is the proper terminology. Yeah, you're right, we use the word accent in more situations than we should. Yawning also got you killed. Almost got you killed. Yeah, story of my life. I was just now years old when I realized that double entendre is Sandy's is in Sandy's name. Yeah. Bikini bottom, sandy cheeks. Actually, bikini bottom isn't even really double entendre. There's just one entendre. The double entendre is like sandy butt cheeks from sitting in the sand on the beach. To me, US Southern accents are like Schrodinger's quality of character. <laughs> Until they've spoken for a little bit, I won't know if they're good people who happen to have a Southern accent or quite Southern in terms of worldview. Uh, I'm not gonna comment on that. That's getting, that's getting into some pretty controversial uh, characterization. Um, but I, I, I understand why southern accents might give you pause at times. More innocent than Jonathan? I'm not that innocent, I just pretend to be for the camera. That's not even true. I'm playing boob souls. How innocent can I be? Hmm. I'm going backwards. Good job, me. Have you not seen Jonathan Smasher pa Jonathan Smasher Pass stream? I did take the filter down quite a bit that day, didn't I? What do you think of Monogatari? I think that is a very good show, written by very smart people, and I don't like it. <laughs> I might- Whoa! I watched all of Bake Monogatari and some of uh, Nisei, but I just, it just- it didn't hook me. Uh, my friend really, really enjoys it. Uh, and I, I have a lot of respect for it because I think it's very smartly written in terms of the dialogue. I think it's got a great rhythm and it's full of wordplay that I wish I fully understood, but I don't speak enough Japanese. Uh, but it just, it, I, I, I did, it didn't grab me. I don't know. It's the negative part of the stereotype. Also, Mississippi Burning is an interesting movie. I haven't seen that. Uh-oh. I just did a back attack from the front. I just ripped out that guy's crotch. I've never seen that happen in this game before. That was amazing. Nisio Isin is so intellectual. His latest manga made a translator quit his job. Oh my god. Is that just because it was so hard to bring over all the intricacies of his, like, of his nuanced word choice? Because he, he really is a, a 
wordsmith. Yeah, I've tried to expose myself to, for example, Critical Role, which has featured some Southern expired characters from time to time. I just need more positive influence of Southern character. There's a lot, uh, honestly, like, oh shit. I, American politics being what they are, um, there's a lot of every region of the U.S. that has a lot of good in it. Like, the, the, the main benefit that people talk about with, like, smaller southern American communities is that people generally tend to take care of one another at a, at a personal level. Like, obviously, um, like, conservative viewpoints in general take more of a stance of intolerance and not caring about other people, but that's more of a worldview sense in terms of individuals looking after one another. That's typically much stronger in smaller and southern communities compared to, say, like New York or Los Angeles, where people are generally open-minded and tolerant in principle, but don't even know their neighbors. So there, there's a lot of like, there's there's a lot of familial goodness in in the South, um, but of course that depends on the quality of the the family connections. Like if that that can be a, a double-edged sword, right? If you've got a good family, then that's wonderful. If you've got an abusive family, then that can be really like tricky and complicated to get out of. Yeah, I can see how given that the strong southern accents get the more negative stereotype in movies. They do. It, there, there's there's definitely a, 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 a predilection there to make fun of people with southern accents in, in media. Or again, southern dialect. Uh, no, because the puzzle puns is one of the chapters... The puzzle puns in one of the chapters were impossible to translate in English. Got it. Well, not just movies, but also some of the news picture. But I gotta be mindful that American Southerners being crazy are also more newsworthy in the media for sensationalism's sake. I think we see a great example of that on Twitter in general. Because across the world, like, I do think that, um... I do think that there are far more like, reasonable and intelligent people than the internet suggests, because the mean, like, mean and stupid is so fucking loud. Mean and stupid is so loud. And also fun to highlight. And we forget that there's a lot more to the world than mean and stupid. And no community is mean and stupid, unless it's relatively small and hateful. I heard about the concept of Southern hospitality, which was framed very positively. I went to a similar college town in a very southern place, so I saw two very different sides to the whole thing. Yeah, um, I the place I went to college was um, it was in Orange County, California, which is not very conservative, but it was certainly more conservative than um, than surrounding counties, and. I used to hear that the city that my college was in was a blue pimple in a red country, in a red county. So I, I, I actually, I, I can't say I did have that culture mel melding because everybody at the college was like very much a college demographic and we didn't really interact with the, the locals very much. 
I can go on about it, but it's too much to say here. Yeah, it's it's very complicated, right? There there's no way to uh, quickly do justice to either side of the of the issue, you know. But if you haven't guessed from the vibe in all of my videos, I certainly lean left politically. <laughs> Very strongly. Well, the South tends to be a lot less population dense, so the communities are a lot closer. Yeah, that's a big part of it. I mean, this is applicable to anyone who lives in a small town, but everybody knows everybody. Some of my impressions come from the LGBT news sources, and for example, on Reddit, people have had bad families that really need to get out of there. Yeah, for sure, there's there's definitely a, a, a skewed perspective there just because it, it can be so um, harmful and, and dangerous and hostile for LGBT in... LGBT individuals in, in conservative families, so I, I definitely see why that would shape that, uh, like, the, the narrative that gets played in those spaces. Um, and yeah, like, conflict is always more visible than peace, for better or for worse. Um, yeah, and it... It's it's difficult to remember that the stuff we hear about isn't the only stuff going on. One example, a le lady saw me struggling to fit a large package in my car in the parking lot and offered to take it in her truck to my house. Oh my gosh, that's that's like a major favor. I thought you were just going to say she like helped you put it in, but oh my god, that's that would never happen in Los Angeles County. That would never happen in Los Angeles County. That's a huge favor. Norwegians are infamous for having a sort of cold exterior, which is easy to break though, and there's plenty of warmth underneath, but then you gotta break through the shell first. That reminds me of New York City very much. <laughs> I was born so left, I'm left-handed. That's the sign of the devil. But again, the harmfulness is a result of being in a small town and those being much more common in the South. If you go to most small towns, it will suffer from the same problems. Yes. Yeah, and I think, um, like, we're, now we're getting a little political, a little. Um, I, I feel that, um, oh, where was I gonna go with this? What were we talking about? <laughs> small pro small towns, similar problems. Um, I completely lost my train of thought, but it'll come back. <laughs> ah! Now I remember. I think, um, you know, uh, people, it, it, th honestly, this is maybe less of a political issue and more of a generational one, but, you know, we, we hear all the time, uh, especially from, from comedians and people in older generations, that people are so sensitive now and, and that everybody's, like, offended all the time. And, um, first of all, I completely disagree with that, but I absolutely see why that illusion is there. And it's because of the internet. It's because... It used to be, if you were offensive to a marginalized group that you never interacted with, they would never be there to hear it and be offended and tell you to stop. You would just go your whole life with that incorrect or harmful stereotype as a belief, but it would never hurt anybody or result in any consequences for you because you would just never encounter the people it was hurting. But now that, like, globalized communities are so prevalent like the people who are going to be hurt by it are going to hear it and they're going to get bad and they should and i think that's where the illusion comes from that people are more easily offended now is you're just being offensive to a much wider range of people than you could be in the past <laughs> oh 
or you used to just suck it up and keep your chin up because no one around you would care to hear it. That too, like people were isolated and they, they knew that like if, if they wanted to stand up and have a voice, no one would listen because they didn't know anybody else like them. So the internet has a lot of good and a lot of bad. I think it's really good that we've become such a global melting pot. Like places like YouTube can exist where, I mean, people from all over the world get to watch my videos, which is such a joy. I was just thinking yesterday, like when I, I, I know that about 8% of my subscribers have like notifications turned on. So as soon as I posted the video, I was just like, I just sent a thousand push notifications across the globe. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. The internet is a megaphone. Also, I am making a Gundam. I'm glad you're making a Gundam. Gundams are great. Um, but yeah, so there, there's a lot of good, but there's also a lot of bad too, because just like um, every opinion can be heard by any, like every opinion can be heard by anybody, but it also means that any opinion can be heard by everybody. And so you can get, like, we're all familiar with echo chambers, and if you are a closed-minded person who wants to find reason to continue believing what you already believe, you will find it on the internet, and that's very dangerous. It's just mind-boggling to me that people think they should get away with literally communicating racism or discrimination, <laughs> right? They are not actually dying, they are playing Phasmophobia. Uh, like a lot of those people complaining that people are too sensitive look back on things that were seen as more controversial in the loudest culture and say, I'd never be on the wrong side of that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm from Algeria, for example, yet I'm still watching your video. Heck yeah, you are! I didn't have the bell on fixing it. You don't have to. I don't... Like... I, I will say again, I have no expectations whatsoever for anybody who watches my videos or streams or goes to the Discord or the Patreon. Do what you want to do to be involved. But yeah, if you want to turn on the bell, turn on the bell by all means. I was oh, I always press the notify me button. Thank you. And that doesn't just happen in a straight line of progressiveness either. No. Uh, like the shifts of social conscientiousness and acceptance, etc. come in waves. Absolutely. And I, I do think that it is, like, while there are certainly, uh, like, very prominent patterns between, um, like, uh, political ideals and open-minded thinking, I do not think that they are synonymous. I think that there are very closed-minded um, leftists, and I think that there are fewer open-minded <laughs> conservatives. <laughs> But I, I do think that they are separate things. What if they're actually dying? They're not. They're not. There is so much confirmation bias on the internet. Internet. Hit the bell or Jonathan will show up to your house and smack you with a theory textbook. That's right. That's exactly what I said. Yeah, I'm not a good bar to observe about whether any particular part of the U.S. is better or worse than another. In truth, I'd be scared to venture through any part of the U.S. That is valid. This is a scary country. I love living in California, but even here there are still problems. True, but YouTube is a numbers game and the algorithm is very particular about what it wants. Yes. I'm not going to pretend that, like, the thumbs and the bells and subscriptions don't help me. They do. They absolutely do. So if you want to give them, give them. But <laughs> I just mean that I do not expect anything from anybody. They regarding roommate, roommate, my instincts forgot from the timbre. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I, I don't... Think they get terribly offended. Like they, they know when something's uh, uh, an honest mistake, as opposed to like a, an act of disrespect. You know.
I don't want to speak on their beha- behalf, but that that's what I've observed in the short time we've lived together. U.S. real estate prices scare me? Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Hey, guess what? Me too. It's really bad, especially in California. It's extremely bad in California. Probably the worst. So, you know, you get a supportive public system, but no home. Pick your poison. I want Jonathan to sign my jazz theory textbook. I feel like I wouldn't be worthy. I know very little about jazz theory, but I'll do it. Uh, click through rate and impressions are a big deal. Yeah, that's true. Also live in California. My rent has increased $500 in the last year. I don't even think that's legal unless you were already paying like $5,000, which I guess is possible in California. Hey, I'm back. Hi, Demonic. Scary is a way to put it. Yeah. It's not just the US, it's Canada too. Yeah, for sure. It's it's spreading across the whole continent. Um, but I do think it is, I think it started in California but then people started leaving California because it was too expensive, and then other places started getting expensive because they were like, oh, the Californians are coming here. They're used to paying too much money. This is bad. Cousins live in Cali. Hi to your cousins. Hello. Funny how Texas and California are linked now. In a lot of ways, yeah. Some upper class are moving here and buying what used to be lower cost homes and drove everything up. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Californication. It's, it is legal because of the age of the building. Jeez, I'm really sorry to hear that. Ouch. Boom. I wonder what, uh, um, I wonder what, um, doing anything in this game would feel like. Because I have made no progress, which I mean is to be expected when I'm looking at chat while playing a Souls like, but it's still a little embarrassing. I'm having fun if you guys are. Opinion on Red Hot Chili Peppers, particularly on John Frusciante. Uh, he's one of my favorite guitarists. I can't say I have a lot of knowledge in general of Red Hot Chili Peppers but I think they're very chill to listen to, and I enjoy a lot of their stuff. I've only really li listened to their major hits, but I like what I hear. They're good, they're good, good, good. I always have fun here, aw. Feels like enemies in Code Vein hit harder and are more durable than souls. That may be true, but they're also dumb as fuck. <laughs> They're very easy to exploit compared to Souls-like enemies. Wow! Like, you could never do that in Souls. Ah! Chill E to listen to! Ah. Except they've got hot in the name. Oh no! A paradox of the ultimate degree. Anyway, yeah, I remember during lockdown there was a story about a man who had attempted to remind two ladies to put their masks on. Going into a mall, they overreacted, kept up a fierce entitled discussion with him, while one of them texted a friend of theirs who arrived onto the scene with a gun and shot the first person. Yeah, that happens here. Yeah, that happens here. Anyway. <laughs> I had an elderly couple I was serving at my job, and they were like, back when we were looking for a home, they were much less expensive, and back when then, people were more li willing to give you a loan. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and it, not only were things less expensive absolutely, but they were less expensive relatively. And that's a big problem worldwide, but it's it's... I, I think it's especially bad in the U.S. because, like, half of our voting population likes it that way for some reason. 
had such an utter mess. I really do think that corporations have a lot of the public eating out of their hands, and they've done nothing to earn it. Enemies in Code Vein are a little wonky, even by Souls-like standards. Agreed. Yeah. I, I remember somebody said, like, uh, Souls-like games have always been janky, and Code Vein is no exception, but it's not a good kind of jank. And I, I think I mentioned before, at least on the... Fuck. At least on the Discord, I know I said this. Um, when I first played Code Vein, I didn't feel that it had any major problems. I really liked it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Fuck! Oh well. I didn't have any major problems with its performance, but then playing it a second time knowing that people have problems with the jank, I've definitely been noticing a lot more jank. <laughs> For example, what we learned today is that there, the, the hitbox on terrain is wild. Look at that, there's like two feet between her and the wall. Why? Uh, I just realized all the anime edge and souls went to the human sized and epic bosses. That's true. Uh, yeah, the gun situation in America is quite putrid. <laughs> Some of those reasons also rhyme with Larry Mandarin. Yes, they do. Because again, it's, um, it's not the majority that has all of these scary and problematic viewpoints. It's just a very, very powerful minority. Very powerful. Booba. Shot in the booba. Did you know that um, healing in this game involves squeezing one's own booba? Look at that. The more you know. Basically, before lockdown, hadn't noticed all the scary stuff, at least to that degree. So before lockdown, I had a naive impression about the US, inspired by Star Trek. Hey, Star Trek is a great show, and I think it shows um, what like some of the, the, the best American minds um, do hold to be like good and true about the world. Um, but yeah, they are... There, there's not enough of those guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that in a lot of other nations, um, there's a, 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 a lot of romanticism about the United States, and Hollywood certainly has a large part to play in that. But we've got our problems! Ha 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 ha! I know a lot of European nations just uh, teach that, like, we don't even have a left leaning party. And that's kind of true. We just have extreme right and centrists. Not among the population, but among the parties. Uh, d the Democrats are slowly learning that it's okay to be a little more left, but it's a process. Ouchie. Thank you, by the way, for um, everybody being so uh, respectful about this. I know these topics can get extremely controversial and it, it certainly helps that we all seem to be very like-minded um but i i know that many streams are not able to talk about politics at all so thank you for um allowing this discussion to take place without anybody's uh feelings getting too escalated While I certainly don't agree that every opinion is valid, I do think that you have to hear everybody's opinion in order for a fair conversation to happen. You're never going to change somebody's mind if you, like, open with hostility and making it clear you think they're wrong or stupid. 
It's just, they're not going to change their mind. They have nothing to gain. And I think that's also something I've had to learn about the arguments I let myself get into, is if somebody else enters an argument thinking I'm wrong and stupid, then I shouldn't be in that argument, because there's nothing I can gain from it. Even if I happen to be wrong and they happen to be right, which is unlikely because they go into arguments thinking that everybody else is wrong and stupid, um, it just it puts me at such a disadvantaged and vulnerable position. And even if I learn something, it'll come in such a, an unpleasant and probably partially incorrect way. The new Woke, now available in stores. For all the scary mi oh wait, no, I'm, where, where did I go? Did you know the biggest French rapper is named Booba? I did not. That's funny. Gender neutral Booba squeeze, love to see it. Yeah, because the male model does that too. Uh, when I was a kid, I was really into that American dream. I was too. It wasn't until much later that I realized it doesn't exist. It did, for, for sure. I think for baby boomers, it truly did exist. Uh, but it is gone. It is no longer feasible. At least not in, um, not, not in mo the most populated parts of the country. I, I think there are some places in, like, in, in the middle, in the, in the rural, rural areas where property values are still relatively low. Um, not values, that sounds condescending, but prices are low. Um, I think it's still realistic to think that, like, you know, you can support a family of four with a relatively commonplace job. Um, but that, that's not gonna happen in any big cities. It's just not. It's gone. It's gone! Super easy to deflect points by mentioning Booba. That's so true. Booba is the ultimate counter-argument. Philippines has always had a good impression of the US healthy Filipino diaspora community there. That is kind of tragic in my opinion, given how much the US has fucked over the Philippines. Um, but yes, there are some very uh, rich Filipino communities in America and in California. I, I grew up around many Filipino people. Went to a lot of karaoke parties. So I guess I'm missing my past wanting to go to the U.S. and fulfilling that tourist of Hollywood's presentation of U.S. that I used to know well, that I indeed wanted. Yeah, um, I, I think a, a lot of people who live in America can share that disillusionment. I, I certainly have um, changed my viewpoint of this country very dramatically since I was in high school. I've, I've like, I've been on the full spectrum, you know? I, like, grew up privileged and a little bit indoctrinated, and so I was patriotic because, hey, good stuff happens to me in this country, so why wouldn't I be patriotic? And then I realized how many problems there were for other people, and indeed, as time went on for me, and I st thought that I was becoming less patriotic. But then I remember hearing somebody say that wanting change for your country actually is a form of patriotism, because it means that you see the potential in your country and you want to bring it out. Um, and then time went on even more, and I realized, uh, no, I'm actually not patriotic. I, I just want to leave sometimes, quite often, actually. But um, I don't exactly know where I would go. I was thinking Canada for a while, but then I learned that you have to be like 60 to get your prescription meds covered by public insurance. I need those right now. So I'm gonna stick in California, thanks. <laughs> Opinion on Yuki Kajiura. I love Yuki Kajiura. I really want to do a video on Credence Justitidum from uh, Madoka Magica in particular. 
But I also know that it's going to be copyright claimed. So that'll suck. Basically, if something is in a video game, it's probably not going to be copyright claimed. If it's in anything else, it will be. And that's why Patreon is so great, because Patreon doesn't care what I upload. A stupid person will never recognize your point. How true. Hold on one sec, I gotta scroll up, I'm missing stuff. Um, oh no, I actually am caught up. It is simply not worth trying to have an actual discussion with anybody who is approaching with the bad faith of winning above all else. I fully agree. I fully agree. They are playing an entirely different game of gotcha, which puts twice the pressure on you to balance that and any genuine effort to inform. Yeah, it's it's just, it's, it's a no-win situation, truly. Because, like, winning a discussion doesn't mean that you badgered your opponent into submission. Winning a discussion means that you both learn something and come to a common ground. Losing a discussion is anything where the disagreement still exists. <laughs> Why came I queen? Good stuff happening to a living, breathing person? Impossible! Uh, Jonathan, I think the U.S. involvement in the Middle East really affected our generation's viewpoint. I think that's very true. Yeah. I remember being in elementary school and being like, Hey, what's George W. Bush doing? <laughs> like, seriously, what is this man doing? Uh-oh. Uh, I try to religiously believe that in my social luck, as in that I'll meet people in my life who actually are good people and aren't out to get me. I mean, like I said, the internet's a good place for that. It's just you have to be careful that you don't end up uh, reinforcing false beliefs. Because there, it, there's, um, there's good and bad to being able to, fi to find any community you want at the click of a button. There is good and there is bad. Ouch! I'm out of healing. Maybe I should take EO back out, because then at least I'll have some help with all of this bullshit. Because I'm not making progress. Okay, let's do it. I give up. I give up! I give up. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. Her work on Kara no Kyokai is god tier. Well, then I need to listen to Kara no Kyokai. Oh my god, I will wait with bated breath for that video. I it, It's been on the Patreon polls multiple times, but has not quite won yet. It was doing pretty well in the current poll, but uh, that's pretty handily going to the opening sequence to Ori and the Blind Forest right now, which is not a bad thing. So we'll see. Eventually. Eventually. You should cover her hack sign video game OSTs then. Ooh, I haven't listened to those either. To completely turn the topic around, of all the co-students I've had, the American exchange students I've met are the most socially adept students I've ever studied with. I'm not surprised to hear that, because um, like American culture so values like social prowess and having and defending your own opinions and identity. Um, and when you mix that with the fact that people who travel are more likely to be open-minded, adventurous, and tolerant. Um, it makes sense that the people, like, sure, you get American tourist stereotypes who, like, think that the entire world is their playground and museum, but in terms of the people who, like, stay long-term in another country and learn there, I, I think that um, uh, Americans have a, a, a deservedly good reputation. The absence of evidence does not mean evidence of absence. Indeed! 
as if they just somehow had good parenting, well-prioritized inclusivity, and good social skills from whatever their backgrounds that may be. Well, to be clear, I don't think any video you make will be disappointing in the slightest. Well, thank you. I, I didn't get that feeling that that's what you were saying. I'll wait, and wait with bated breath for all of them. Well, the next one is going to be, like I mentioned before, um, it's, it's going to be a Star Rail video about a lot of the tracks we hear on Eurelo 6. Um, because if you have played... I forgot to take EO out. If you have played Star Rail Chapter 1, you know that the ending is fucking phenomenal. And... Um, the next video is going to talk more about story than I usually do, because that's a big part of why the finale is fucking phenomenal. But, uh, yeah, I, I really want to talk about Wildfire and all the things that lead up to that moment that make it so good. I've seen a video essay actually already that talks about why that moment is so good, and I think they make a lot of points. I want to go deeper, and I want to go more musical in, in particular. Ori in the Blind Forest is absolutely gorgeous. Yes, I love that soundtrack. I actually, um, I took this out of the Shion video because I felt that it was a little too tangential and um, maybe a little misleading in my opinions, but I actually had a bit where I, in the part of the Shion video where I talk about how you don't want to overuse a motif because um, it may lead a person to think that you've run out of ideas or it will like reduce the strength that that motif has. I actually made a compilation of all the times in Ori and the Blind Forest's soundtrack you hear the da 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 because it's like constant. It's in I think most of the tracks uh, but I didn't want to give the impression that I don't think it's a good soundtrack or that I don't think Gareth, Co Gareth Coker is a good composer because neither of those are true. I deeply love that soundtrack. I just think he used that motif far too much. <laughs> Ouch. I didn't take out EO again. I've only played a small portion of the one with, of one of the dot hat games, but it was a good experience, so I'll vouch for it. Nice. I choose you. I need to make sure I choose the partner with the right type advantage. Should I use EO or... Yakumo's gonna fuck him up. Yakumo does a good job of fucking him up. Bring it anytime. Thanks. Okay, bye. See, I don't even have to do anything. Thanks, Yakumo. One of the major criticisms of this game is that the partners are just too strong. You, uh, you either brave through all of it with a high difficulty curve, or you just let the NPC play the game. Your choice. I think the specific motif was used less in the second game. Yes, it was. I, I think he improved in that one. Uh, but I don't know for a certain, Just that's just a feeling I remember getting when I first listened through it. I, I think so. I also haven't counted. Um, I also... The, part of this might just be because of my opinions of the first game over the second, but I, I like the first soundtrack more. Even though... I think it's possible the second soundtrack might have more variety to it. Uh, I also like the first game more, even though I think the second has more freedom of gameplay in it. Because I just, I really liked how focused the first game was on just like turning mobility into. Uh, like, like that, that game has combat in it but it's mostly about improving and mastering your mobility. And I think that's so cool. And the second game opens up more play styles, which it has to, because otherwise it would be very repetitive of the first game. But I, I kind of missed that focus on just like, be in the air a lot. <laughs> which makes certain tracks that do use it stand out a little more, but it could be that motif is still everywhere and just less obvious. Yeah, I, I don't know. Again, I haven't counted. 
This is Bonko, and I think I mentioned the Tales games on Discord. Uh, yes, but I want to particularly call out Tales of Symphonia and Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World for their music again. Yeah, those are good. Speaking of soundtracks, why do most OST albums contain many tracks you never hear in the actual anime or game? Is it just sunk cost fallacy? I haven't particularly noticed, but also I will say I'd rather have more music than not have it. Um, so I don't know if I would say it's sunk cost fallacy, because it, it certainly is still good music, regardless of whether it's in the final product. But it is funny. It, it is. I, I remember listening to the um, the Made in Abyss OST, and there's there's quite a bit in that that never made it into the actual season. And even in um even in Honkai Star Rail, which just came out, um, I think there's a track or maybe even two just in the prologue that isn't ever heard. Partners in this game aren't strong enough for the Tower of Trials. I don't remember the Tower of Trials. Is that DLC? Because I didn't get the DLC. I heard it was bad. Thanks. Gonna sneak up, do a backstab. Oh, wait. Gonna sneak up, do a backstab. Leave it to you? No! Leave it to me. I'm a god. Do your thing. First seems slightly better than the second, both gameplay and music. I, I never know if that's like an illusion or an opinion thing or I, I don't know. But there are some uh, IPs where I'm like, oh no, yeah, the sequel's better. Um, I think Little Nightmares 2 is better than Little Nightmares 1, but not by much. And I think they're both masterpieces. I would never tell somebody, oh yeah, just skip to two. No, play the first one, goddammit. It's good. Oh, speaking of starting with two, though. Um, I, my, my roommate uh, has recommended that I play a Switch game on stream. I think it's a Switch game called Conception 2. Um, which is like a, a really horrid harem anime JRPG, uh, with a focus on breeding your characters for stats. And it sounds really awful. And they were like, just, just do it on stream. Just see what happens. So I'll probably do that at some point. I haven't decided when. I hope I don't regret it. Uh, they said that one of the best parts is that in the English cast, there is both Sam and Eden Regal. And Sam is the main character, which means that you can make him fuck his sister. Uh-oh. Which is very anime when you think about it. A god become as gods. Thanks for just standing there a lot. Oh, a door! Hello, door! Oh. I need the dog tags. That's a key, apparently. Wait, why did you scream that? Oh, that wasn't him. That was that was the vestige. Got it. Okay. Hi. Bye. Uh, it's often the case that gameplay music that might actually exist in the game doesn't have an arrangement that would thematically fit on an album or OST. Yeah, that's true. 
That happens sometimes. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, the grandma from OG Near has a percussion part never heard in game. Yeah. Um, when I read Dark Side, I freaked out for a sec because I thought it's Nicholas Jar's band. It's not even in game files. Oh, wow. Regarding songs appearing in OST, it's often a case of some gameplay music that might actually exist in the game. Didn't have an arrangement. Oh, wait. No, I already read that part. Yeah, yeah. The anime? Is Conception an anime? I haven't heard of it. That's probably for the best. Uh, Nier Automata had, skill had that issue. Keiichi Okabe said that combining all the layers into actual tracks was a hard task. I bet it was, because there's so much... Um, dynamic stuff. Like Pokemon Daycare? I think closer to like Fire Emblem uh, Awakening and Fates. But maybe. No, I guess it's kind of the same thing, huh? Breeding your characters for stats sounds exactly like the train wreck that is Bloodline's Hero of Lethus. From the title, I'm gonna say probably. Uh, or breeding doing the dirty dirty. Same thing. Uh, because game shows... Sto Wait, why am I getting hearts? Wait. Why am I getting a bunch of hearts on my screen? Where's that coming from? Incest is hot when it doesn't involve me. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. J game shows stories are intentional. You tell the composer to work stuff, they make lots of great music, yet things might change depending on how the stories evolve. That's true. When Sullivan was originally the final boss in Dark Souls 3, his boss theme was supposed to be the start screen theme like Radagon, but they changed that. Oh. Yeah, and like I said in my grandma video, grandma might have been written to go with the prologue, uh, but I don't have any confirmation on that. It seems likely, though. Um, breeding as in they have a picnic together and find an egg in the basket. Yeah, probably that. Probably definitely that, probably. Okay, here's the thing though, it, again, it's not canonical incest, it's just that the characters are played by actors who are related in the English dub. Uh, so Conception 2 does not, as far as I know, have any canonical incest. Just every other anime. It really is confusing to me how that became such a big deal. It's just, it's everywhere! It's everywhere! I don't know why! The anime was horrible even when you ignore the incest tropes. Oh, there, there is incest. Okay, great. Fantastic. Bloodlines uses AI art in its ads now that AI ha- Oh, now I know Bloodlines. Yeah, I, I, I've seen those ads. It, what's especially funny to me is that there are two ads they have running at the same time where they have two different AI generations of the same character. Like they clearly fed the AI the same prompt with two different seeds, and then turned both of them into advertisements that they ran simultaneously. Which proves, even if you've never seen AI art before, that they're using AI art. Just, like, it, it's not just morally bankrupt, it's stupid and lazy. I hate Bloodlines and what they have done to, like, knowing nothing about Bloodlines, I hate Bloodlines just because of their ads. Speaking of AI, I think it's funny seeing some big names in EDM and music in general using dog shit AI to generate album color covers, sometimes even music videos. Yeah, I'm really... I had a video about this about a year ago, but I unlisted it because I was getting a lot of trolls and got tired of having arguments. Um, but I really think that... Uh, we're in trouble with AI. I, I did hear recently that a federal judge set a precedent for AI not being able to own its own output, which is a good start. But I, I really think we need to put extremely strong restrictions on uh, what people can sell that comes out of AI. I, th I think it has to be very um, significantly altered in order to be sold. Um, I'm totally okay with people doing it just for like, I, I think AI art is a great resource if you're like a dungeon master who wants to make better assets for your players. I think that would be awesome. That's a great use for AI art. I think AI art is a great invention and tool, and I think it's going to get much better in the years to come, but I also think it's a huge economic threat to artists everywhere. Anyway. 
Um, thank you everyone for answering my OST question, by the way. I was just too overwhelmed to reply to every single answer. Fair. Lucario ripoff. Uh, does anyone know what specific version of Grandma is played when you go to the mystical forest in Near Replicant to save them from the sleeping curse? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, what is it? I think it's just... Well, if you're talking about Replicant 1.22, I think it's just the instrumental. I think it's as simple as that. Uh, it sounds very, like, dramatic because there are so many string layers added in compared to Gestalt, but I think that's just the normal, um, the normal 1.22 grandma track sans vocals. That's where your AI vid went. Yeah, I bet it got some weird traction. Yeah, it's still up, it's just unlisted, so if anybody favorited it for whatever reason and wanted to watch it again, you can. I also think maybe one day if, like, history proves me right, I'll put it public again. <laughs> Just to be like, <laughs> told ya. But yeah, it's gone for now. It's both an issue in the ways of taking jobs, yep, stealing work, yep, etc. It is also an issue in communities now being overzealous and accusing people of using AI at any sign of offness. yep. Um, actually, that reminds me, a lot of stuff has, a lot of resources have been pooled into uh, trying to detect AI, um, especially in writing, like in art, humans can still easily detect AI, but people are trying to make AI that detects, like ChatGPT, for example. And all that it has been able to do so far is note, notice when people are not speaking English like a fluent human does, and that is usually because they are not fluent in English and are a human. And so... It's it's worse than useless technology because it doesn't detect AI. It makes people think that it detects AI, and it is pointing the finger at people who are doing their best. Oh my goodness, what a time to be alive. I did play Bloodlines before the AI got bad, and the gameplay is lacking, I bet. The main thing people say stay around for is the implication of naughty time with the spouse characters, which I bet is underwhelming because it's on the app store, that generate your children who then become heroes you send off to war. Yeah. Just the piano part, no vocal? Oh! Well, then, that. No. No, I'm almost certain that it has the full instrumental. It's definitely a special version It feels more dramatic than when we fight the big monster in the valley itself as if something was added. I don't think so. I don't think anything is added. I think it's just the vocals taken out. So there are no passive regeneration in Code Vein. There is not, uh, but that's normal for Souls likes. Maybe they added strings. I don't remember. Sorry, man. I think there are strings. I'm pretty sure. Um, I bet Davy Oxford Logic has that video saved. I don't know. Maybe. Unfortunately, I do not. If you guys want it, I'll put it in the Discord. I'm not, like, ashamed of it. I just didn't want to deal with the, the, the trolls and stuff. Not even necessarily trolls. There were some people who, like, came in there with good faith arguments. But, again, I, it's just, like, I got tired of having those arguments because there were a lot of them. And I felt that it would be irresponsible and disrespectful for me to have a controversial video live if I wasn't willing to talk further about it. So I unlisted it. AI reflecting existing biased pattern recognitions of the people who made it who could have imagined. <laughs> right? So surprising. Oh my god. It's all good. I have a lead I can investigate. I was just so baffled, almost as if I was hearing the song for the first time. Probably the intention with the interactive visual novel. Yeah. I, I think it's the full instrumental, because I, I went through this when I made the video. That was like nine months ago now, but um, I'm pretty sure I'm remembering that right. The naughty time is a voice line invitation and a curtain pull, which I wasn't interested in in the first place and was still disappointed by. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mature themes. Look out, kitties. Avert your gaze. Nine months. Damn, I will remember as if it was yesterday. It's been wild to me how quickly all this has gone by. Okay, it was eight months ago, but still, it's been wild to me how quickly this has all gone by. 
it, it's it, it, in some ways I feel like I should have done more in a year but also I know that that's 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 just the demons talking to me not the demon not the demonic overlord you, you're fine but you know the rest of them I can't believe I was this close to the missile this is like the third time I've gotten this far and I never actually oh well I'm here now that's what matters it's also the one I discovered your channel through. Oh, that was a good one to come in on. That was um, that was the beginning of the trilogy that made me realize I needed to put a limit on how often Nier is allowed to win polls. Because that went straight into Song of the Ancients and then Fleeting Words, and I was like, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna like. I'm just gonna be crushed by all the depression that th these videos are forcing me to relive. But more importantly than that, a garden our way, huh? More importantly than that, there's just other music I wanna talk about. It's important me to, it, it's important to me to get to all the near tracks I want to talk about, of course, but it's also important to me to... That's a probably a two-handed sword from the looks of it. I probably don't really want to use that, but yeah. It looks cool, though. Look at that. That's stupid as fuck. Make sure you're good and set before we go. Okay. What was I just wielding? This? Oh, wait, what is this? How is it plus five and I don't even recognize it? Okay, well, I'm using this now. It's about the same weight. Very catchy title, I'm glad. I remember somebody sarcastically replied like a cake is more than its recipe or something and I'm like what do you want man I'm just trying to get clicks Not an ideal doesn't matter how many how good the video is if nobody clicks on it not a constant passive HP regen but a kind of rally system one no nothing like that I know what you're talking about, though. You're talking about, uh, like, Bloodborne, but no, that's not in this game. Uh-oh. That's not a good sound to hear. Okay, not bad. What's this Blood Veil do? Where'd it go? Which one is it? The, um... I have no idea how they actually... Uh, sort these. Um, that is dramatically worse than what I currently have in terms of what I actually use blood veils for. Um, some weapons just come upgraded. Yeah, I forgot about that. I gotta talk about less depressing music, Jonathan said, and then made a video about Shion's theme. Yeah, and my next one is gonna be- Oh wait, no! No! My next video isn't gonna be depressing, you guys! That's like a first! It's not a first. The, uh, the Hades one wasn't depressing. The Celeste one wasn't too depressing. Genshin definitely wasn't depressing. But I've, I've actually thought about it. Did you know that my Genshin Impact video is the only video I have written about something that isn't in a minor key? It's the only one. That's funny. Most anime you could get is a 12 year old girl with a 50 ton hammer. Very true. How about gifts or items that give you passive regen? I don't think so. Um, I mean, you've got like the regen inducer, which actually that's not passive regen either. That's um, that's a burst heal, but it's it's consumed on use instead of the regeneration spell. Um, I, I, 
about GI music? I don't I don't know GI either. Oh, Genshin Impact. Uh, in interest of varied content, I'd be super down to listen to you rave on about Genshin Impact music. That music has a ridiculous level of production quality. I think Genshin Impact is one of the best um, best soundtracks in like the decade. It's really, really beautifully written, and almost entirely by one dude. It's it, it's kind of unreal. I hope he's okay. He he's got so much range too. I remember reading something about how, like, he wanted to have the harmonic depth of Western music while still working with, like, um, Chinese influence when he was working on the Leoe soundtrack. And so he put jazz chords underneath the- oh, okay, nice. Um, so he put jazz chords under the Chinese melodies so that he would still have- ooh. Oh, this looks like the end of the area, I'm not ready for that. Uh, so that it would still have, like, um, all of the, the complexity he was looking for without betraying the, um, cultural influence. And I think that's really cool. Not happy video, what is that? I didn't say it was happy, I said it wasn't sad. Um... Major keys don't exist. Yeah, uh, even though it's the 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 Star Rail video is not going to be sad, but it's also not going to be major. It's going to be minor. And then after that, we have Quiet and Falling from Celeste, which is minor. And then we have Emil, which is minor. And then we have probably Ori in the Blind Forest, which does have a lot of major in it, but is mostly minor. <sighs> Hi, Elena. Welcome home. There is an HP regen in Code Vein, but I'd have to play it again to remember how you get it. I'm sure there is. I, I, just, I, don't, I don't know. I don't have it, for sure. Uh, let's look at the map real quick. Oh, I'm so yawny today. Okay, I've done everything. Let's, um, actually, it looked like there was an item that I missed. And I do want to go back and replenish my regens. Oh, wait a minute. This can't be the end of the... This can't be the end. I, I still haven't found that one missile over over there in the bottom quadrant. Oh, no, it can be the end. It just means that I missed something. Well, then I will go back. But after the boss. Good place to rest. <laughs> You're such an edgelord, Yakumo. Ouch. This is actually heavier than the broadsword by quite a bit. I think it's okay. I wish I could appreciate Genshin Impact's music more though through actually playing the game, but I know myself well enough to understand the gacha demons will get me. <laughs> I played the first two chapters of Genshin Impact uh, pretty religiously, but um, I burned out well before Inazuma came out, and then Sumeru came out, and I'm like, well, now I'm so far behind, why bother? And now Fontaine's out, and I hear the story in Fontaine is really good, but I'll just like watch a YouTube video, man. I don't got time for that. Especially now that Star Rail's out? No. No! Star Rail already takes more time than it should by itself. Is this a boss? This looks like a mini boss. Is this actually a boss? Oh, good night, Nervenant! Oh, wait. Are you. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Just double checking. Uh, Cleansing Light is one of the HP regen gifts. Okay. Um. Your chowing always confuses me. Chow is usually used as a goodbye. Catch some Z's! Yakumo's the edgy one? I don't know, they're all edgy, but Yakumo's definitely the, like, jock edgelord. She be genshining on my impact, Elon Musk. Did he actually say that? I hope not. 
No, I won't give up yet. I shall not off as a surprise to us all. It was Inazuma for me. I got, also got lucky pulls on the three original Archons. Ooh, nice. This is a boss. Okay. I have only gotten Zhongli at an indeterminate point in the future. Uh-oh. Gilded Hunter. Ouch. Ouch. That's fine. Oh yeah, another stupid thing about the partners in this game is that as long as they have HP and aren't on cooldown, they can bring you back from the dead. Don't worry about that. Everything's fine. Do you- how- I can't backstab you, can I? That's a shame. Ooh! Ooh! Somebody's a little pissy! Huh. Ouch! Ouch! Take that! Ouch! Ouch! Take that! Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. Eek. Oh, oh, oh. I'm in trouble. Come on, Yakumo, do your broken thing. Yay, broken. Oh, oh, no, we're both dead. Yay. He actually said that in his Twitter. He's such a nightmare of a dude. You either die with the FOMO claws in you or live long enough to fall behind so much it lets you go. Yeah. Yeah. Let the sound of Jonathan killing things lull you to dreamland. Yes, the, the ultimate lullaby, me screaming. Inazuma was at first very high stakes, then got boring. Oh, Sumeru was cool, great story, but it's so big it's overwhelming. Oh, wow. Fontaine, as of now, is very cool. Sumeru was also a disappointment because they were like, hey, this takes place in like the Middle East and Northern Africa and then filled it with white people. <laughs> well, not necessarily white, but you know, very light skinned anime characters, including a redhead. And I'm just like, okay. Uh oh. And like, I get it. It's a Chinese game, and I know that there's a lot of, like, skin tone racism in China. But also, if you're not going to, like, make people who look Northern African, don't base a setting off of Northern Africa. <laughs> Ouch! Oh no! That means we're gonna win! I decided. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh man. Oh jeez. Oh fuck. Who needs healing? Me. Probably. Yeah, me. Right now. Me now. Me right now. I need it right now. Wow, that does so much damage. Finish him! Oh fuck, I'm finished. Thanks! I'm not- I'm unfinished! Wait. That- that- that has a negative connotation though. Holy moly! Thanks! Oh, he dead. This is not going to go in my favor. Um, yeah. That was, that was inevitable. Connection to the network has lost. I doubt it, because I'm streaming. 
So get on my level. Uh, where was I? You guys should drink some water. I should drink some water. What's your cue to stopping live streams? Is it beating a boss? Or do you play until you get tired? I play until I get tired. No harm in Usually it's around the uh, three and a half hour mark. But yeah, I, actually I, I think beating this boss will be, well, well, we'll take a peek at the next biome. Cause that's always fun. Ouch. Eight years ago, when I first played Star Citizen, I had some real bad FOMO about the ships we can own in that game. Ooh. I, I haven't played Star Citizen. I, I really loved EVE Online from what I played of it, but that game also eats time. Like, ev everything takes hours to do, and while it doesn't feel like a drag, I've enjoyed all the time I spent on EVE Online, I'll play for what feels like a bit, and it'll be like three or four hours. What's happening right now? Yeah, this is the bad kind of jank. Unfortunately, I have run out of Icor. Is he just gonna... Is Yakumo on the other side of... Okay. All right. Like I said, I don't play this game for the boss fight, so this is fine. It's just stupid. Hold on, I, I, I fell behind on chat, so I'll have to catch up after this fight. I don't want to take my focus away because, as you can see, this is a very taxing fight. Oh no! Now I have to play the video game! What a bad day. If I don't win now... That's just pathetic. Ow. Oh, yep. That's all the health I need. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yakumo, 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 Yakumo. No, it's pathetic. Uh... Okay. This boss gets reused a couple times in the abyss. Yeah, that happens a lot with bosses in this game. Mentally checked out for a second when I came back to my senses, I thought you were talking about Inazuma 11. I don't know what that means. Uh, do they also have the weird blood type racism? I don't know. In Sumeru, there's a world quest that is no joke about 13 hours long. Oh my. Wow. Wow. China's racism kept in Revenant from getting a good night's sleep. <laughs> Piano and strings, no vocals. I was right. Uh, by the way, was there a video Q&A at the beginning of this stream? Yeah, like 15 minutes. It wasn't as long as I expected it to be. Uh, Final Fantasy 14 has that issue too. Oh, 16 has that issue too. Here's a setting blatantly based on Middle Eastern culture. Also a story centered around shallow concepts of slavery for funsies. And everybody is pale as paper. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard that about it, but it uh, it does seem pretty cool in terms of gameplay. Game decided you just get to win, and I still lost. 
tech at its finest. The boss be like, just get this over with so I can go home. Uh, the themes it attempted to explore felt kind of slap-faced, but not well executed. Oops. He said too slow. It's like the Abyss Watcher glitch that turns off their AI and just slice them up. I, I don't know. It, I don't know. I haven't had experienced that. This is a very taxing fight. You have been taxed. The blood tax. Uh, that is very well put. Its exploration of many themes feels like caricatures in a lot of ways. That's deeply unfortunate. I know a lot of us had very high hopes for 16. Um, but <laughs> compared to 15, kind of anything is an upgrade. I know some people like 15, and I don't want to make people feel bad if they like 15. I just share the majority opinion that it was really boring. I hate that I get stun locked with a lot of these attacks, so if he's in the middle of a combo, I just take the whole thing. Uh oh. Shit. Yakumo, save me! Yakumo, save me! Yakumo! Yakumo! Man. What's your favorite fate? Hey. What are we talking about? Which number do you think will be the final Final Fantasy? That's a good question. Uh, I don't want to think about it. it 30. I hope. Me when Kingdom Hearts video. Hi, turnip boy. How you doing? It's been a while. I like 15, but not in a I would recommend anyone else play this sort of way. I get that. I, I'm like that with a lot of stuff too. Fate series. I need to get into Fate. I I really want to start with Fate Zero. I start I watched the first episode, that's it. I played like, I don't know, three hours of Fate Grand Order. It was okay. Sorry, very disappointing answer. What? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Doing a Kingdom Hearts 2 level 1 run, that sounds balls to the wall insane. I would never be able to complete that. Oh yeah, it, it was intentionally anime girlish. I was I was trying to copy what the the character she just did it again. The way people remember me what? Wait, what is that about body on face? Off topic, but for some reason when I saw the thumbnail for this stream, I thought you had photoshopped a random body on your face? No, that's my body. What? <laughs> 99 will be the last one. Uh, the best JRPGs in my view from the past six years are Nier Automata and Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I need to play. Both had me crying hard. Uh, still not done with the last fight at Final Fantasy VII Remake because of that. Wow, I really want to play that. I really want to play that. <laughs> the Final Fantasy, but for real this time, will be the last one. Did you guys know that the first Final Fantasy was called Final Fantasy because it was supposed to be the company's swan's swan song? They thought they were going to like run out of budget and have to close, but then everybody loved it and they became a, an international sensation. Hmm? That was pretty cool.
Uh, catching up, catching up, catching up, catching up. Final Fantasy XII is not only my favorite, favorite Final Fantasy, haven't played that one either, but my favorite game in general. Ooh, so that's an opinion shared by maybe one other person somewhere out there. Yeah, I don't hear a lot about XII, but I haven't heard that it's bad. My beloved tax evader. Uh, PSA and Rev, you probably gotta go, not gonna sleep now. <laughs> Uh, where should I begin with Final Fantasy? That's a great question. Tried starting from the very first one, but felt jarring. You know, it really depends on who you ask. Um, they're all uh, unrelated, other than a lot of the abilities are named the same things, and there's going to be a crystal at some point in the story. But, hmm. Seven Remake is probably a really good place to start. Seven Original is a decent place to start if you can stand the datedness. Uh, Final Fantasy X is now quite dated, but still a, a beloved game with a, a, a better than average story. Final Fantasy XIII is a well. It, Final Fantasy XIII is a good combat system with a good story told badly. Um, and those are all the ones I've played, other than three, which I would not recommend as a starting point because it's still very bare bones. Uh, and I mean the actual three, not the one that America branded three, but is actually six. Soul of Violin, that goes absolutely to town. <laughs> Aerith is the most beautiful and feminine girl in all of fiction. Yeah, that's a pretty good opinion to have. I'm awful, yet I'm enjoying the run. Oh, it's awful, yet, but, but I'm enjoying the run. Then that's all that matters. <laughs> that's his body. Uh, sorry, I'm so far behind. Since Final Fantasy games are independent of each other, you can start anywhere you want. Yes, I'd recommend whichever one looks like it has the gameplay and setting you'd enjoy. That's honestly the best recommendation. That That's, that's where you should start, whichever trailer looks coolest to you. <laughs> um... Also, it's kind of my own thing now, so, uh, when Darkness of the Unknown, Unknown. <laughs> You're not annoying. Uh, I still don't have an answer for you, though. I want to make that video. I will make that video. I don't know when it's gonna happen. Uh, start with 9 if you want something that feels contemporary yet classic feeling. 9 is a good bridge point. Um, I've heard really good things about 9's story as well. Uh, but I don't know much about it beyond that. Don't do Final Fantasy VII Remake. It expects you to have played the OG. Oh, I didn't know that. I grinded to 12 on Destiny Islands, and even that was almost too much for my sanity. That's too much for my sanity. That sounds fucking terrible. That sounds really bad. I remember as a kid, I fantasized, like, what if, um... What if I leveled up enough to get the scan ability by the time you fight the Dark Side Heartless in the, uh, Dive to the Heart? That's not feasible. <laughs> that should not be done. Also, actually, I think it's impossible because you would... I think the only time there's infinite enemies in that area is during the fight with the Dark Side Heartless, so you would never have time to actually equip Scan once you unlocked it. Could you please say diatonic triads? It's been so long. Dang, that... That joke's been with us for a while, huh? We all thought that as a kid. I'm glad I'm not alone. I find the differences in our affections to Final Fantasy XII amusing. I got through the intro cinematic, then ran around a little, then shut the game down and uninstalled it completely. That is different from saying it's your favorite game ever. Seven Remakes does not require you. Who's telling the truth? You can grind Riku and the three Final Fantasy characters on Destiny Island. Oh, for sure, but not for for the second Dark Side Heartless, yes, but not for the first one. I grinded to 12 exactly because I wanted the scan ability. <laughs> wanted to see how much EP Leon had. Oh, that's a that's a worthy cause. I, I remember he felt impossible when I was a kid, but then I replayed as an adult and I'm like, that wasn't too bad. It's fine. First try. We all know what first try means for me, though. First try is about is what I'm about to do to this boss. Is what's gonna happen. Don't 
I'll do what I want, Yakumo. You're not the boss of me. I'm the player character. We do what I want. I get plenty of first tries per thing I attempt to do. Oh no. That's not how I wanted that to go at all. Oh no. Okay, I know this is name droppy, but I've I've come this far. I'm I'm pretty proud of that. And we were talking about Genshin Impact. Um, my one of my roommates, the one you've been hearing, is the English voice actor for Paimon. So that's been neat. <laughs> oh no. Uh, the ending literally is a huge spoiler for Final Fantasy VII, and I personally suggest playing the OG first. I've tried playing the OG multiple times, but I, I, I'm ashamed to say this, like, I recognize that it's superficial of me. Um, but I just, I find the graphics really hard to tolerate. <laughs> and I don't particularly like the, the battle system, it, it's very, um simple by today's standards and uh the the story doesn't move quickly enough to keep me engaged i got out of midgard and i was like wait this is that was the prologue fuck i can't do this there's too much game in this game First try, blindfolded, arms tied behind your back, controller disconnected, monitor placed in another room, otherwise it's not a real first try. That's true! That's so true! I understand that because I have streamed the game for friends in the past and early on, I am always compelled to be like, just hang in there, it gets better, I promise! Someone beat Elden Ring with an electronic saxophone as a controller? Jesus! Jesus! Oh. But also, its gameplay and story are definitely not for everyone, regardless. I had an absurd amount of emotional attachment to uh, Ivalice as a setting. I guess that's the place 12 takes place in? Uh, the love put into that game's localization and so on. Oh, I do love good localization. That matters a whole ton to me. Do you plan on doing all three phases of Darkness of Unknown, of unknown or just one? I want to do all three. Seriously, play the remake and enjoy it. it. Might not be the same experience as the OG, but it's still valid. Have fun. In my case, it's a little harder because I actually hate Final Fantasy VII Remake's battle system. Uh-oh. I've heard good things about it. I'm sorry you don't like it. Yet I think it's still one of the best GP JRPGs I've ever played. Nice. Thanks, Yakumo. Just in time. That went great, didn't it? <laughs> Doctor Decomposing. Uh, maybe I'm not gonna finish the battle, the the boss fight before I end stream. Maybe I will just give up. Giving up is fun sometimes, cause then you don't have to do stuff. Oh. Words to live by Jonathan. Ow. No, I know what you meant. There's a lot of stuff I feel that way about, like, regarding your guys' opinions of Final Fantasy VII Remake. I, there, there are so... There is so much 
in this world where I'm like, oh, that's really good. I get why people like it. I don't like it. <laughs> One of those things is Game of Thrones. And, and I, I know that everybody was disappointed with the ending. I'm not talking about that part. That part actually was bad. Um, but I just, I have a lot of trouble with stories that do not feature uh, protagonists that I find relatable or good or virtuous in some way. And while Jon Snow and Arya are pretty rad, they're just not featured enough to keep me engaged. I really like Ned. I didn't like Game of Thrones. I, ch I really tried with it because everybody loves it so much. I watched the first season twice. I read the first book. No, wait. No, I didn't. I watched the first season. I read the first book and started the second season and second book. And uh, just couldn't finish. Couldn't get into it. I always got to the same part. Like, I got to the same part in both the show and the books, and I was just like, I just don't care anymore. Oh, no! No, come on, come on, come on! Really? No, come on! That's not fair! <laughs> ah, and you want me to play Sekiro? You sadist! <laughs> You're aware you didn't give it a fair chance. Similarly, I'm trying to play through Xenoblade Chronicles 3 right now, largely because I want to experience the gorgeous music in its immersed narrative context, but the combat... <laughs> I didn't play the Xenoblade Chronicles sequels because I heard really incredible things about the first game. I heard that it was, like, the best JRPG to date, and it just, like, did everything a JRPG should do. So I pushed myself. It took me, like, three or four tries, but I finally pushed myself to complete it, and I was like... That was subpar at best. The combat was serviceable. The story was bad. The characters... I liked some of them. Yeah, that's my hot take. Xenoblade Chronicles has a bad story. It is poorly written. It is weird and has ambiguous stakes and meanders and has a cool plot twist at the end and that's all I can say positively about it. Okay. Yakumo got stuck outside the fog again. This is my new uh, this is my new strategy. I have to just hope Yakumo gets stuck outside and draws aggro. Canceling Jonathan for his hot takes. Better than being canceled for my cold takes. I don't know what that means. You got to join more of these. I'm glad you're having a good time. Uh, I don't know if Xenoblade 3 was Yuji Kajiura. Yuki Kajiura. I don't remember. Probably. Not Xenoblade? Oh, okay. Ah. Try the boss just once without multitasking and talking? Okay, we'll give that a shot. It's I, I don't see why that would work, but we'll give it a shot. Okay. Okay. Well, it's going well so far. This was this was definitely what I was missing. Good. Yakumo, could you do me a favor and get stuck on the other side of the wall of fog? That went great. That was fantastic. 
Oh, good. That was a great use of Icker. Uh oh. Oh god, come on! Why you gotta move and stuff? Oh, I should collect my haze, huh? Ah, uh, that's not gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Oh. Oh. Okay, sure. Whatever that was. Wait, no! Oh my gosh! I didn't charge it for quite long enough and it just cancelled the whole thing. I need to stop spending all of my stamina. That is not a recipe for success. Fuck. I'll admit, that did make me get a lot further. Scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up. Uh, that is reasonable, but like I said, I am a very small minority of having loved Final Fantasy XII. <laughs> I would not be surprised if it is simply not your taste, which is perfectly fine. Yeah, I feel that way too. Rubbing my eraser. I rationally value both Final Fantasy VII Remake and Nier Automata equally, but because of the battle system in Final Fantasy VII Remake, I've had a better time in total with Nier Automata. I like Nier Automata a lot. Can't say the story of Xenoblade has gripped me in any significant way, but I mean, I've been earnestly loving Kingdom Hearts for all these years. I'm willing to try to and approach questionable writing on its uh, own terms to an extent. Yeah, I agree. Uh, the, the main reason I was frustrated by the story of Xenoblade Chronicles is that it had been so lauded by so many people, including a close friend of mine who kept being like, come on, finish it. Come on, finish it. It's so good. Just finish it. Come on, finish it. And I mean, I, I know that this on its own doesn't mean anything, but I do think it's indicative of how anime the writing is as a whole. The entire main cast falls thousands of feet, like probably multiple miles at one point, and lands on a beach, and they're all fine. It's not a good story. I don't really like Near Combat either. I'm not a big fan of Hack and Slash in general. Uh, I think that it's a little more polished in Near Automata. Um, I can't exactly say why. I, I guess just because, like, um, you don't have to deal with button mapping, different abilities. You just, you have the pod and you've got your melee weapons. And I don't know, I, I thought it was good in, in Near Automata. Oh, Nier Automata you didn't like? Oh, well, to each their own. <laughs> it's certainly not my favorite. Again, hack and slash is not my genre, but I, 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 I didn't find it dissatisfying. Solid try to experience what this story and music that apparently drives people to tears. Yeah, um... It, Kingdom Hearts is tricky because if you didn't grow up with it, it has a lot less value, I think. Um, because, just like, frankly speaking, it, it's not a well-written story, and nobody would challenge that. Um, but it it's very magical if you grew up with it, and it still has charm even if you didn't, and of course the music is, is wonderful. Somebody left a comment on the 13th Struggle video that I've remembered all these months. Um, they, they said, um... Yoko Shimomura's back must hurt from carrying the entire series all this time. And her work really is gorgeous in it. I'm starting to lose my voice a little. Maybe I am catching COVID. That would suck. Go and sleep because you're very eepy. Yeah, those of you who need to go to sleep, you should go to sleep. I'll see you next week. Um... Have you tried what the kids call getting good? I haven't tried that yet. Hi, Curse Void. How you doing? Still hoping for Xenoblade Chronicles X on Switch? I'd give it a shot. 
uh, Xenoblade has British people and Australian people. Uh, my day was ruined the moment I read British. Jeez. <laughs> Your friend overhyped Xenobl uh, overhyping Xenoblade is the exact reason I do not feel any impulse to press other people into thinking Final Fantasy XII is better than their initial impressions. Yeah, I, I feel the same way about my unpopular favorites. I'm like, look, I don't know if I can recommend this to you, but I love it. <laughs> That's what I say about Final Fantasy XIII's story. Because I think that... The first half of it is very good, but poorly told. I think the second half of it is bad. Um, I understand the frustration people have with the linearity, especially if they're not enjoying the story. Um, the sequel has a pretty weak story. Lightning Returns is pretty freaking good. I'm gonna do a video on that eventually. But yeah, I Final Fantasy XIII had a massive impact on me when I first played it. That story has stayed with me ever since. Um, but I can't say it's really all that good, if that makes sense. Fun fact, Jonathan didn't cover any Automata track yet, I know. It haunts me every day. Uh, Nier was an easy 7 out of 10. Fair. Frankly, I button mapped all the abilities in Nier Automata where they felt most natural, and then the chip system made combat completely flowing for me. I like the chip system a lot. I'll just stick with Wander Song and Telltale's Walking Dead Season 1. <laughs> most people should grow up with Kingdom Hearts. It certainly enriched my childhood. I think trying to push somebody into a camp over something so obviously subjective just makes it feel unnecessarily personal. Fair. I knew Nier is a classic when the biggest elitist in my entourage had it in his top three. <laughs> Not a well-written story, you are correct. Uh, even though I agree with your take Xenoblade Chronicles, I still loved the main cast have bonded and become stronger for it and expressing it moments. Yeah, and I, I do, I love everything about Malia. I really like Malia. Uh, I have not played Kingdom Hearts 3, and from what I've seen of it, I do not need to. Uh, disappointing, but was to be expected since my expectations were not super high to begin with. Yeah, my expectations were in the gutter for Kingdom Hearts 3. Have you played Spore? I have played Spore. Why do you ask? I don't stream on YouTube. Uh, what does reading the chat look like from stream review? Well, I have the pop-out chat, so I think you can do that with the regular browser view, too. I think it's exactly the same as what you see, actually. Um, I, I, there are certainly other ways you can view the chat, but that's what I do. I just have the pop-out chat. Uh, when it comes to overhyping, a friend of mine was really hyped on Starfield, but so far, all the gameplay and stories seen supposed to, so far, he called 4 out of 10. I have heard three different opinions on Starfield now, including that one, and all of them are bad. The funny thing is, one of them I heard was, um, after the first 12 hours, it's great. And another I've heard is, after you get to the end game, uh, it's a loading screen simulator. So, probably not going to play Starfield. One of my personal not-so-popular albums is uh, Flood Format by Bird's Eye Batang. I, I have never heard of that. <laughs> 3 was good, but not great, and that's the problem. <laughs> Started with Tactics Advance, which was also set in Ivalis, and really primed me to like 12. Nice! It's as magical to me as Kingdom Hearts is to most others. Oh, that's wonderful. That's really wonderful. It's rhyme time! Dunba, no! Spore stream someday? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I... I think I have it on Steam. I probably have it on Steam. That could be fun. Starfield sounds like a name they'd give to a female cat cousin of Garfield. <laughs> oh god, I hate it. Similar boat, I played War of the Lions before 12, which had me primed to love the setting itself from the start. I didn't realize there was so much extended universe stuff to 12. What game shop is closest to you? Me personally? That seems a little personal to ask. 
Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> Are you British? My family is. And by family, I mean, like, ancestors. I, no, nobody that I grew up with is British. We're all filthy Americans. Bring it any time. Okay, two more tries. Two more tries, and then I'm ending stream. Ready for this? The game got good after 80 hours of story. That's what you want, right? From a big purchase like a video game. You want an 80 hour investment of gameplay that you've already had for decades in other Bethesda titles. Perfect. Just what I wanted. I already modded Skyrim. I'm good. That did not enough damage considering how long the casting time is. I like this better. Boom! That's a lot of damage for a little cast time. Boom! It's a lot of damage for a little cast time. Ow! Ow. 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 Also, for what it's worth, uh, it's only the people at the Bionis head that are British. The people at the Bionis leg are Australian. So. And yes, that is a down under joke, and I fucking love it. That's my favorite thing about Xenoblade Chronicles, is there's a d down under joke in the lore. Nice. Didn't need two more tries. Because I did it on my first try. Rough start is fine, but not when it stays rough for the next 75 hours. Yeah, for sure. I never liked Skyrim, to be honest. That's fair. A vestige. Wait. Did that lost leave something behind? So the vestige se sequences in this game, if you don't know them, are really quite cool. I've never seen cutscenes done quite like this or since. And, and I, I just, I think it's really wonderful. I would love to see more cutscenes like this in other games. This is Mr. Mina. He's going to be taking all of you in. I don't think we'll get along with him. Oh, I thought that's where I was supposed to go. The best one by far, in my opinion, is the, uh, is the cutscene that I I shows um, Louis with Cruz. I wish I could replay it for you guys. It's it's so good. It's nothing to be concerned about. I'm merely indulging my curiosity. They probably fell into the water up and washed and washed up on shore. I don't think they actually landed right next to one another in the sand. I don't care. Either way, it's stupid. If you are falling from that height, you will die. I don't care what you land on. Good morning. And how are we doing today, my dear children? And I, I know that's not how it works in Tears of the Kingdom, but that's different, because it's a game mechanic. Rejoice on this glorious day of reunion. Praise curiosity in the progress it brings. You stop earning experience for gifts if you're overleveled? I didn't know that. Yeah, I probably could do Kingdom Hearts 2 level 1 with no controller. That's probably true.
kind of reminds me of the ending of the second planet of Honkai Star Rail. I haven't quite gotten there yet. I uh, I got to the part where um, Don Hung does like Moses with the whole parting the sea thing. You can replay them. Oh, maybe you're right. I'll check. Um, I'll go to the home base and, and check, and then, then we'll call it a stream. The plot armor broke their fall, yeah. Maybe water just isn't so dense and viscous as in our dimension, huh? You're right. Gosh, if only I had thought of that. He was well known and celebrated as a scientific genius. Oh, now I know what you're talking about. The the echoes. Got it. Of of Kokolia. Yeah, I wasn't thinking of her to space station as a planet. Link, Link also has a parachute in Tears of the Kingdom, but he doesn't need it if he's going in the water. Can you make that O oh sound again? I don't actually know what you mean. I don't remember what I did. Detroit become human stream? Probably not. I don't own it and I haven't heard many good things. So addicted to HSR. Yeah. I probably should have been watching this. Because I don't really remember this part. Your character in these flashbacks walks like a bored antsy student on a field trip looking for the exit. Oh my god. Hey, I got the dog tags. Yeah. Cool. Plot wise, DBH. Oh, Detroit human become human is sublime. I, I've definitely heard that about some of the stories in it. Did you say you have or haven't heard good things about Detroit? I have not heard many good things. I've heard good things about some of the stories and some of the soundtrack, but that's about it. Um, actually, let's see what I can unlock. Treasure tracker, leak resistance, leak removal, yeah. Chariot rush. Flame protection. Blood spike. Halberd mastery. Somatic zeal. Yeah. Level up. Boom. Teleport. Home base. Did you right become monkey? <laughs> I was one of the people kind of shitting on it when we talked about Detroit last time. Oh. Have you heard bad things about Detroit? Uh. I wouldn't say. Bad? No, I would say bad. Yeah, I've heard some bad things about Detroit. Fantastic game to the point that a negative comment about it feels sarcastic to me. Okay, maybe I will give it a shot. Uh, I know you can review actual cutscenes in the sauna at base, and I sw Oh, that's right! That's what you can do, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Probably won't play Code Vein. Bit too fan servicey for me. There's no such thing for my- Well, I say that, but then I was shitting on EO's character design, because it's tasteless. Um, yeah, th there is such a thing as too much fan service for me, but I gotta be honest with you, the limit is so high. I will put up with a lot and be grateful for it. I'm a monster. Another that put me off with Vayne, the bosses feel like something you survive rather than defeat. I don't really like the bosses in this game. Finally took my suggestion into consideration. Can't wait to for him to find it overrated and strip me off of my credibility. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, I, again, like it's. Ooh, I don't own it, so it's going to be a while before I can play it anyway. I'm not really buying games right now or anything that I don't have to. But um, yes, I will. I will consider it for sure. 
I did enjoy Connor's story, but the actor for him and Hank did a lot of their own thing instead of Cage's ideas. Oh, interesting. Look back on past memories. This chat is wild. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, these don't appear to be vestiges. These are just the actual real-time cutscene. Wait. Oh no, there are, there are vestiges in here. Okay, good. Um. Ba da 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 Louis memories. These are the ones. Here we go. I think this is. I I did say that the story in this game isn't literature. I think this particular cutscene is like award-winning. It's so good. Yeah, I I can't I can't say I have firm beliefs on whether or not fan service is like morally defensible. I just know I like it. You know? I might do a track on the video that plays in the vestiges. I don't know what Sigur Rose is. Sorry. I want to hear more of your stories from school. Peace of the world and fish on, yeah. No, I did listen to those. Just a while ago. And I could use a refresher. I can't read the subtitles. Oh no, should I turn up the audio? Let me turn up the audio. Well, we're having a hard time suppressing what's causing the rejection. Ordinarily, we wouldn't let you see her. I see. Thanks. I appreciate it. Would you have had anything or enough to make a video on regarding Little Witch Academia? I don't know. I don't remember the music.
That's a good cutscene. That's a good cutscene. Someone pop a zit in front of the mirror. Creaky door. Yeah, voice actor goes hard. Uh, there's not much context to be offered other than um, that Karen and Louie are siblings. So like the two people that were uh, together at the end in the fire um, are, are siblings. But other than that, it's just like uh, Cruz slowly lost her mind to a disease and became the reason that the world ended and Louie could have stopped it but he couldn't bring himself to kill somebody he really cared for. So, it's pretty near, actually, now that I think about it. It's pretty fucking near. Arson. She's the mad anime queen. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, okay, so, it's near to near. Oh, we've been going for about four hours. That's a long stream. No wonder my voice is tired. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, this was an amazing stream. I had so much fun. I hope you guys did too. Uh, I don't, um, might do Code Vein in the future, but probably not. I think this was probably a one-off. Uh, I might have to start that Conception 2 game and we, we'll just have to laugh about how fucking awful it is. Um, Anyway, missed about three hours of this stream. It's okay. There is a VOD, and also, you only have to watch as much as you want to watch. Uh, but thank you guys for coming. Uh, okay, Pazer, stop. <laughs> um, I will see you next week. And uh, I don't think I have any other announcements. Thank you for watching the Shein video if you have. I recommend you check it out if you haven't. And I will see you all later. Bye bye